right, I think we are ready, guys. Let's do this. New game. A mother's love. Ask the receptionist about my room. It seems like that's the very first thing we should do. Is that our quest? Oh, it's given us a bunch of little tips at the bottom. It says, John steals bad photos. It's even spelled like my name. <laughs> what is it talking about? I don't think we need to read that right now. looking pretty already. Uh -oh. Ginger, He's that's sick. what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. <laughs> Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I like their accents. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Well, don't snitch. Oh, at last. I'm... Quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on, we'll go together. Do I really? Oh, that'd be weird. It's spelled the same and there's some similarities. I like the music too. I had to download some songs for the intro to the stream because I always have background music for the game we're playing. And uh, yeah, I really like the soundtrack, what I've heard so far. How was the audio level so far, guys? Oh, time lapse. It's nighttime. <laughs> That's so funny, 99. Make sure you don't kill them. They're worth more alive. That's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. Oh, awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see how this is running. Always do a screen pan test just to see if it's running nicely. So far, so good. We'll see how that goes. So uh, left stick to move, A to interact with objects. So like Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Okay, hit the left stick, I think, to um, skip. There we go. That turns that off. Oh, we have a compass at the top. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. All right, let's go in. If you need something, sir, please inquire at Welcome reception. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. Sorry. We just need your signature. As I make everybody sick just as soon as we start. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Oh, so it's very, like, based on the center of your screen. Like, if I look at him, it changes my target, so that's kind of cool. There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Always get a very second good. key. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. You always want a backup in case. There might be motion blur. I don't remember seeing that in the options, though. We can double check real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, all kinds of tabs. We'll double check to see if it has motion blur. It might be under effects. I'm not sure, but they don't specifically call out motion blur, so it might just be automatic. Oh, I love the atmosphere. Uh, 
I just want to pick someone random to talk to. Would you like a drink, sir? Yes. <laughs> Can I get that drink? Is it my imagination, or does he have like a hunched over, like walking animation? Oh no, I guess it just seemed that way from behind. I was like trying to look at his legs, and it looked like he was kind of hunched over. Oh, I guess he does kind of hunch over when he walks upstairs. This place looks beautiful for murder. I forget my room number already. 221. There it is. I love it when they keep all this information in a uh, logbook for you. There's 225. Oh, you can run with the right trigger. Okay. 226. I'm going the wrong way. It might have been the camera angle that kind of made the walk look interesting. Might be on the other side. Let's double check over here. 223. Now we're on the right path. 220. Hey, he's right here. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Are you kidding me? Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Poor service. Let's check what they have on offer. All right, let's go get some snacks. Right? Seriously, it's getting pretty late. Now maybe we can get that drink. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. Let's see, am I supposed to grab these snacks? No. Oh, we're looking at this. A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Psychic? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Well, that's fun. Let's talk to a psychic. Look at this guy's Excuse swagger. Me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. <laughs> That's a great question. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Those are fancy glasses. Whoa, that was quick. Mediocrity. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> that looked look pretty cool. Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Okay, now can I get my snacks? There okay, we go. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Oh, this looks like where they might do... Um, those readings they were talking about. There's like a crystal ball. Or is that just a decoration? I'm not sure. That was definitely uncalled for, 99. <laughs> Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. There you are. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. I like games. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, you can deliver it to him as well. Okay, now this is kind of funny. He's, he's entering jerk mode again. Why should I return it? Because it would be nice. <laughs> deliver it to him. And what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. Oh, no, 99. Could you imagine the crossover with that? Okay, 
so let's look at the cane. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. I guess we could check out the head. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. This has been used as a weapon? Are we finding a murder weapon already? And we've been told the space below the stairs is the perfect spot to hide after murdering someone. Let me just jot that down. <laughs> A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the Fielding family or meadows, or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. It's a cool the cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. So now we have to find somebody that matches all those qualities. All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Now I'm curious, um, how does saving in this game work? Can you just like save wherever you are or is it like an automatic thing? Uh, Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press the start button. Why? <laughs> Why can't we just go back to start and select? Maybe it's old school, but like all these controllers have like weird symbols now, or they'll say options and share or something. I just go in like start and select. Um, so you press start to open up the case book, pin the evidence with X and speak to someone. Try it now with the cane. Oh, that's cool. You can go into more details. I like this. So you can save where you are, but there is an auto save. Oh, this is good. Um, so evidence can be pinned on screen. So it looks like when you, before you talk to somebody, you kind of bring something up. You like you pin it so it's like the topic of discussion before you talk to them, something like that. Well, let's try that out. So if we go to our mind palace, let's see where do we find the cane? Open the case book. Um, use the list to the left to select a case and read everything about it. Evidence is crucial to your investigation. Let's see. Press X to pin the currently selected evidence. Okay, where do I find the evidence? It is in the case book. Oh, 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 where I was. Right here. It even has it. It's under mother's love, so I was thinking I was looking for something else. Okay, so we look at these. The lost cane. Pin evidence. There we go. I was looking for like a cane specifically. <laughs> oh, and we'll have to memorize those symbols as well. Yeah, pretty much just shove the cane in people's face. Dude, whose is this? <laughs> I'm a great detective. Let's ask this guy. He had a clear view of that. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Okay, so I already looked at this. How do I um, get that thing off my screen? Maybe it stays there until I actually use it successfully. Could you help me? That's a question I can answer. Aha, there we go. The lost cane. There were three people at the table, a couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out to the front garden for some air. I have to find him. There we go. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why Ooh, not? Let's, let's see how money. good you really are. Nice. Okay, so it says hit right bumper to concentrate and reveal details to identify your target. So don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Do I still have that pin? I do. Whoa, that's cool. I like that graphic effect. Irish adventurer, friendly, dehydrated. How can you tell? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so before we use this, we probably want to go to the uh, the front. Or front garden, they said. So here's the front desk. So just right out here, right? We're looking for a retired Navy officer. Who would look like that? French teacher? Irish tourist. 
unknown. <laughs> a little bit, Rainbow. I could see that, yeah. An artist. Oh, how about this guy? Auditor. Oh, retired military officer. Here we go. I think we got it. Can you satisfy my curiosity? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. The men talked about yachting, and the lady was fidgeting with her cane. Perhaps she put it aside, and her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. Now I have the perfect excuse to enter the seance room. Ah, so the couple had it. I guess it might have been the wife's. And uh, they're currently in the seance. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. <laughs> it seems kind of rude just to burst in while they're doing, like, a, you know, an activity they paid for. I mean, it could be both hearts. Noble and uh, retired officer. Oh, that's true. What, what was John going to give us? I just saw it said John's bet. Let's see if it says anything there. Doesn't have any. Oh, here we go. Um, I, I don't. I don't know if we actually bet anything. It just says, "As expected, I won the bet." It doesn't actually say like he paid us or anything. Now, where did it say seance was? It might even tell me here. Meeting the medium. Okay. Uh, doesn't say where it is. It might say where it is on that um, advertisement, though. Oh, that makes sense, Phantasma. I assumed it was over here, because this is where the crystal ball was. John's waiting for us here. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Maybe he's in this room right here. Ah, I think that's it. hotel this island what the is hell? full of thieves first my cane now the diamond take your Whoa. hands off me do you even know who i am the skulls moved hey boy that's my cane i get that a lot it's a very common design what no that's a custom made <laughs> a joke a joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Oh, time to answer. Oh, you do tarot card readings, hearts? That's awesome. Um, I know um, Relentless also does tarot stuff. That's so cool. Oh, so now we have to... Oh, he's got some busted up knuckles here. Let's inspect. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. Recently hit someone with force. We got to see that. He was beating up the medium, I think. Expensive and new clothes. He's rich and fashionable. Swollen reddish skin. A head of garlic? <laughs> a red face, expensive duclo. Okay, we saw all that. Judging by the heraldic emblem on his signet ring and cane, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven. A bored, rich English. Oh, that's there's the nobleman we were thinking of, hearts. So yeah, no, it is the nobleman that owned the cane, and it was the retired officer who was sitting at the table with them. Um, a bored rich nobleman who travels around Europe squandering his money. His florid face indicates that he has problems with alcohol. He is still physically strong and healthy, but in a few years' time he'll be wretched. Being constantly oops, being constantly drunk, he has issues with his temper. His red knuckles reveal that he has severely beaten at least one person quite recently. His anger issues mixed with alcohol and, and the contrariety could make him a violent person. 
So am I supposed to answer one of these? Oh, they're different descriptions based on what I want. Okay. So I get to choose what I think he is. Is that what I'm doing as I kind of like answer him? Okay, the other option says he, I'm trying to read just the different things, has a habit of visiting resorts to receive treatment for his liver malady. Perhaps he was unsettled by the seance, uh, I presume. He takes boxing lessons to strengthen his physical condition. Already annoyed with the disappearance of his cane, he is now infuriated by the theft of a diamond, unsurprisingly. I feel like that one had more truths in it because we heard them talk about a diamond um n none of them talk about his the girl that's there maybe not his wife <laughs> so we have two options based on how you interpret the evidence and jada how's it going jada you finished school and you lost your voice again 650 wait 650 words or 650 pages jada those are two totally different things my guess is it's this one. Although they also call them a nobleman. I guess it says a nobleman in either one. I think it's going to be this one. Just because it talks about the diamond. And him being unsettled. Alright, we're going to guess this. So how does the... Um, Twitch integration work. I'm curious. I don't. Maybe we haven't run into one of those sequences where you do Twitch integration. Okay, let's try this one. Why would you think he has a liver malady, though? Hmm. I guess I don't know why. That, I guess that doesn't make sense in this option. Why would we think he has a liver problem besides drinking, of course? Oh, no, that's a joke. I think that's a joke. He has a liver malady as in, like, he likes to drink. I think that's what that is. I was thinking that was, like, treatment. No, they're just making a joke. I mean, he was throwing some good punches there. I don't know. He, the guy was bleeding out of his nose. He threw a good, pretty good punch. He could be a boxer. <laughs> we saw him punching. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to go with this board one, I guess. It's tricky. So Shady, how's it going, Shady? Twitch integration can be a little finicky to get going. There's options. Oh, wait, I did log in earlier, but maybe not since I started the game this round. I did it when I was previously testing it. Maybe I have to try that again. Let me try this real quick. Oh, I have to hold it. There we go. All right, that's what we committed. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. It's a cool name. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why <laughs> bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Oh, dear. Oh, I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity fine i shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this now hopefully i get to answer both of these oh am i covering the end i might be able to move myself over but it just depends on the subtitles honestly that's just how a lot of these games the subtitles work though how does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance it is an unusual accoutrement Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Rajah, an Indian king. 
So you were summoning long dead Indian royalty and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not wow. another like it. That's got to be expensive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's true, Shady. They needed those, uh, what do you call them? Like, uh, fainting chairs? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Oh, oh. yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Like Ghostbusters. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Oh, that does kind of sound shady about, like, the whole seance thing, doesn't it? Stay here and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret. I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. I bet it's there's going to be a logical explanation for it, Hearts. As far as I know, usually Sherlock Holmes stories veer into, like, supernatural stuff and then have, like, a logical explanation for it. Okay, before we continue, let me double check the Twitch integration to see if we can get that working. So if I go to gameplay, log in as a streamer, then it opens up a window for me. It says Twitch connected. Okay, because I already logged in earlier. So let's see. Enable streaming is on. Voting is 40 seconds. Let's see how that affects anything in the future, hopefully. Okay, let's check out the table. What do they do here? So concentration helps you pick up smaller details about the world around you. When you see a scribbled white circle, press right bumper to observe the object more closely. Oh, like that right there. Oval the groove. diamond was placed on the table so uh. that all participants could reach it. So anybody at the table could have grabbed it. I guess I don't need to be in that this view the whole time. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. <laughs> there are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. So that was probably the wife's? Or, if not wife, girlfriend, because he wasn't wearing a wedding ring? Half a glass of Bow Blair scotch and the remains of a Paul Aranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? Okay, I think that's everything there. Let's back up. Look at all that on the ground. Oh, there's more ectoplasm right there. These skulls move too. That was really interesting. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Oh, we only have uh, four out of five clues here. Oh, so it's, it'll be pretty short. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. <laughs> really, Sherry? Poor thing. The feebleness of women. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Oh, there was something else I missed. I missed that counter at the top. Let's see. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the jacket? Not the jacket. What else is I missing here? It'll probably highlight yellow, I'm thinking. Unless it was this thing. No. And yeah, whatever it is should hi- Oh! Popped up a second ago. It was like right over here. Where was it? I could have sworn it lit up yellow right there. Maybe I'm mistaken. 
Oh, I can move. That's right. Maybe I need a better angle. Oh, there we go. It was the pin. I just wasn't close enough. That's pretty cool. I've always liked these games that let you like this inspect things is close. Old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. There we go. And that gives you a mind palace clue, which I'm guessing that kind of turns into like a deduction section, maybe. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. <laughs> As adventure games go. That's all you do is you're a kleptomaniac. Steal everything, right? Oh, yeah, I saw that, Shady, where you hold the right bumper and certain things turn up white. Or, or left bumper does it. Gosh, there's multiple ways of doing it, huh? I feel like I'm the predator with all these different visions. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. So you threw a heavy chair at the dude? Oh, we can talk to him. Nice. <laughs> what happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Oh, nice. Thank you for the clarification, Shady. Are there any spirits here now? So these words are different. My guess is the white one at the top means, like, just get more information, and the yellow one, kind of kind of yellowish one at the bottom, is, like, continue moving on forward. We don't need any more details. Okay, good. I always like to go for the optional stuff. I like the extra detail. Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. <laughs> I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Okay, we found enough clues to make a deduction. Sure doesn't feel like I did. Um, press start, navigate to Mind Palace, inside pair the clues you've gathered to make deductions. Okay, so we're looking at this one. Uh, Mind Palace is over here, goes to the past. Select that. So here's our four major clues. Lord Lady Craven faced the window. During the seance, Lady Craven's place at the table was opposite a window to the courtyard. The moth pin. Luca owns a pin the shape in the shape of a moth. The lady pointed across the table. Lady Craven pointed across the seance table at something and screamed. And then Lord Craven punched the medium. When he discovered that the diamond had been stolen, Lord Craven punched the medium in the face. So first thing I think of is that she saw somebody in the window and maybe they came in and stole it. You know when you do a seance, oftentimes like you have to close your eyes. What if she opened her eyes and she was the only person that saw somebody? So let's see, you can lock and unlock. Let's look at help. <laughs> Choose your case, select a clue, combine it with a relevant one, get new evidence in your case book, make a deduction. Okay, so if I had to combine two of these, I've never done a seance before, no. I've never even done Ouija before. <laughs> but. I don't know. I'm not against it. I'm not really a big believer in like the spirit realm and stuff like that, but it'd be fun. Interesting. I'd like to find proof of it for sure. Okay, so I'm going to say that this one where she faced the window, let's lock that, and that she pointed across the table. Lock that. We got something. I guess I press A again to reveal. And the whole process is known as necromancy. <laughs> The courtyard witness. Uh, Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the seance. Okay, there's something. And then read. Oh, we already did that. Okay, go back to clues. I don't know how combining these two would be useful. Um, 
she he punched him in the face and he had a pin the shape of a moth. I don't see how that's helpful. Okay, so Lady Craven must have seen someone outside as she was pointing in the window. Uh, I'm certain that someone was in the courtyard during the seance, a witness or an accomplice. I should check the area and see if there are any traces outside. There we go. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, uh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the window right here, so we should check that side. <gasps> Boobies. Well, this is a pretty little courtyard. Oh, there's one person in here. Oh, there's something highlighted right there. Am I supposed to hold this one? I think. Recently scratched, something stuck. Looks like a heel? Like for a shoe? Somebody broke their shoe? This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. It almost seems like John is a ghost. <laughs> you know, like a... Not even a ghost, but like just like a spirit or part of our imagination. He seems to just kind of appear wherever we are. I love it. Okay, to track someone's movements, we hold... Press right bumper... And we can intuit the proximate path. Oh, is that what I'm looking at here? Oh no, those are just leaves. <laughs> oh, we have to pin the evidence first. Okay. Uh, someone in the courtyard that's pinned. Now we press that. Right. My controller rumbled a second ago. Yes, I could definitely see forgetting the pin thing. Oh, I think that was it. It goes out this way. Before we go that way, I kind of want to talk to this guy, though. Excuse me, just one question. That's a question I can answer. Okay. The resident who was in the courtyard saw a maid who was working in the courtyard. He noticed that she left in a hurry after a scream was heard from the seance room. Yes, it does rumble the controller. There is one benefit to using a controller versus a keyboard and mouse, I suppose. Let's go back to our predator vision. It goes this way. Looks like she was like right here. Is that her shoe? Been missing the, yep, missing the heel. Size four with a broken heel. Now we have to go play Cinderella and try this uh, shoe on everybody, right? <laughs> He's a ghost or Sherlock's boyfriend. I accept no other explanation. And then Shady's like, why not both? <laughs> Let's see, could they be a little bit further this way? Maybe he can answer where the maid is. I can't talk to him. Oh, maybe we can do more footstep following. So she went here. We keep going. It kind of seems like this is the end of the line for the footprints. So we're, we're pretty sure it's a maid. Let's just go around and try to find a maid to talk to. Oh, maybe not. Was there more about the shoe? Rose de Moore. Ah. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. There we go. So, definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... <sighs> no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. I don't know. They might all be working together, right? Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's... I'd easily just totally miss that Phantasma. So I'll get kind of a confirmation that I did something before I move on. This reminds me of the fairy tale, Sherry. Will you find your princess? <laughs> that's exactly what I was saying, Cinderella. So really now we're just looking for maids to chat with.
Let's see if we can find one working. I see a lot of butlers. It's like a big circle. It could be outdoors, or maybe they're upstairs. This place is huge. <laughs> oh, there's a maid. Gotcha. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, yes. I can tell you everything, sir. It's really interesting. Like, some conversations are important enough where you get all the details. Other ones, they just kind of skip a lot of the pleasantries, and it just goes, boom, here's the important stuff they have to say. I kind of like the system, actually. The staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. Ah, because she broke her heel, she had to switch to normal shoes. That makes sense. So cleaning near the pictures. And we're upstairs. So I, I guess I want to stay up here. Here's a couple pictures. Well, that way. Ah. This might be her. Check her shoes. Mm, she's wearing heels. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. Maybe not. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towers? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? I don't see a need to lie to her. A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss... Boom. Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't. But only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. Describe what happened during the seance. A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Oh, thank you so much, Shady. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, dude. So... This whole ghost thing is interesting because it wasn't just her that saw it. I was thinking at first, oh, maybe um, just the the wife or girlfriend or whatever saw it. And that's when she screamed. But she didn't actually see a ghost. She saw somebody in the window. When in reality, everybody saw this ghost because I can remember the Lord tried to attack it. So I don't know. Is this guy doing the seance, putting on a show, something that faked them out and it got too escalated? And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. <laughs> and then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. Mm. Grabbed at it like he was really trying to catch it. That. We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. <laughs> or instead of grabbing the ghost, was he actually grabbing at a uh, diamond? Hmm? Um, that's my guess, Weebatone. That's my guess. Oh, what is that? There's something highlighting down there. I need to go downstairs and see what that is. Is that just telling me that's like the, the main um, thing? Oh, now we can unpin it? Okay. I love that you can just unpin it with uh, the D-pad. That's really handy. 
Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Okay, with enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. Interact with the node to begin to recreate an accurate version of events. Here, try to place the seance participants in their correct positions. There's a lot of systems in this game. Okay, let's recreate the scene of the crime. So, this is where the lady sat. So I hit next. Not him. Nope, not him. She was here, because she was staring out the window. And it looks like we can actually see the maid there as well. Now, this is where the smoke and drink was, so this must be where the Lord sat. This one. And we can probably put the seance guy here. There's only one other spot. There we go. And then hold right bumper to validate. I think that's everything. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. <laughs> the lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Ace. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? <laughs> oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. I know, right? He's just like, poof, I'm here. <laughs> He's so sneaky. <laughs> What is that movie? Mr. Deeds? Where like the uh, kind of the, the butler dude is very sneaky like that, just appears. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. Oh, that's kind of the long way. Let's go this way. That's a beautiful room though. Okay, 226. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying to the servant. Kind of remind me of the servant from that movie, Mr. Deeds. There's 225. It's 226 at the end. Yes. Lady Craven is not. Uh oh, I might have interrupted them. They started talking and I got too close. Gossip can help you investigate a case or even discover a new one, so don't hesitate to eavesdrop on people. When you see an ear icon, hold A to try to filter out important words from useless chatter. Lady Craven is not who she seems. There we go. What actions by Lady Craven arouse suspicion in the maids? Price is rising again. Oh, I I see. Up and down keeps them. Uh, sons, bad acquaintances. I don't know about that. Let's go back. I want to restart that. I wasn't sure what I was doing. <laughs> Lady Craven is not... Okay, so up is keep, down is discard. Lots of guests this summer. Get rid of that. A chef steals food. <laughs> Get rid of that. Was on the lookout? Not sure what that means. Were they on the lookout for something? All right, adding that. Cannot use a fish knife. Oh, I think I ran out of time. Let's see. Lady Craven is not... I think I need to go quickly. Uh, discard, discard, keep that, discard. Sons, bad acquaintances, keep that. No, that was not correct. Made her husband drunk. Oh, so I think we need three. Yeah, I think we need three. I'm glad they keep having the same conversation over and over. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be screwed. That was not it. That one is no, 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 yes, 
Oh, I, I think I missed one of those. Which one am I missing? Yeah, this is all stuff Lady about Craven's Lady Craven. Not who she seems. We know that one's correct. I don't think that's it. That one. That was correct. That's not correct. 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 And one of those, I could have sworn I did it. I think it's one of the ones I don't think is correct. Lady Craven is not. So think of what a rich lady should be able to do and what she can't. Yeah, what actions? She cannot use a fish knife. That sounds correct. Rich lady shouldn't be able to use a fish knife. Lots of summer guests. That seems unrelated to her. The chef steals food. That seems unrelated to Lady Craven. Was on the lookout. Price is rising again. That could be. Oh, we're out of time. I'm just going to have to try him. I just have to try each one and see which one it is because none of these are making sense. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Sure. 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 <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't get what you were after. It happens. I always wanted a pet cat. So there's something that she can't do that rich ladies can. Some of them don't even seem to be related to her. It almost seems like it's not giving me a clue. It like Lady ends too quickly. Okay, cannot use a fish knife. Back, Sherlock. That is suspicious. so it's something that she can't. We'll rich lady should be able out. to use a fish knife. I would think lady because Craven being rich, they would never even have to clean a fish, you know. Okay, so made her husband drunk. On the lookout, fish knife. There we go. Oh, to cut fish at dinner. I was thinking like to clean a fish. <laughs> I, was, I think I was overthinking it, Phantasma. Okay, I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossiped that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven, which made sense because they weren't wearing a wedding ring, right? By the observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. So meaning like she probably wasn't, you know, very rich. Not Lady Craven at all. Mistress Craven, perhaps. All the ominous music. Oh, spilled some wine there. What? Is she dead? You're here, at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Oh my gosh. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. Police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. Yeah. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. <laughs> I love Look, it. After you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? Mm -hmm. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Okay, so these will both push the conversation forward. So where is the medium? Where did you go next? We believe the medium was locked in his room, so let's ask where did you go next? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. And where is the medium? Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. 
What did you do next? So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? <laughs> the return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Oh, did you see how they spelled jail? Have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? That was interesting. J G A O L, I think is how they spelled jail. I've never seen it like that. Do something about it, Holmes. I I did not do it. You know that. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Best to get this body. There's the diamond. Is it real? Is this the real diamond? This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. And I'm curious, what kind of snacks are you getting, Phantasma? There's a purse. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. <laughs> I love that. Let's ask one of the suspects to give us a, uh, you know, I guess, psychic reading of what happened. Like, I'm sure they wouldn't lie if they were, you know, actually, uh, what do you call it, uh, guilty. Am I supposed to, is there something else to look at? I think that was it. I said three out of three. That's right. We're scanning things. I love that. Oh, barbecue chips. I love barbecue chips. What uh, what brand do you have in? Someone was not happy with his post. Oh, yeah. There's a ripped up letter here. Can we put it back together? That's the British spelling? Okay. So I guess in that case, you didn't have chips. If we're talking about... Uh, uh, British spelling, that would be chips, right? Or not chips, it would be crisps, they call it. Someone was not happy with his post. Okay, I can't reproduce that. Oh, there's something else here. Here we go. A letter regarding the stolen ring. Uh, Dear sir, I have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We had to free L.O. DuPont, the servant, as we were unable to find any evidence of his participation in the crime. We will inform you of any progress in this case. So, they also got a, um, a ring stolen. That's interesting. Yeah, I do like Lay's. Lay's are good stuff. Yeah, that uh, left bumper to kind of highlight clues is real handy because... It doesn't really show you what you can interact with until you get really close. Too shallow, uh -huh. false bottom. Ah. Place. Why would she conceal all of this? These are all the things she stole, isn't it? That looks familiar. Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. I've also really enjoyed, but you have to, it's, you know, of course, an acquired taste, 99, but uh, vinegar potato chips, I really like. I think I saw that Phantasma. That's like when all the red check marks are gone, and uh, then you're ready to do your deduction. So I still have one more thing to look at here, probably the ring. Virtuous Odactor. It's like Latin. Virtus or Dactus Sapit. Courage go. tastes bold. A unique family motto. We'll have to ask that guy if it's his motto. Several thousand pounds. That's quite a fortune. Man, this burglar. Oh, it does pop up on screen. Sometimes the deduction will pop up before you have everything. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. That money? Fard, Rouge, Calamel, Mascara, a real ultimate temptress. 
the mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. The plot thickens. Pause that real quick. Oh my goodness. Our bow, 25 months. I love that. Can I at least get the couch? We have a very comfy couch, Arbo. It's even very roomy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, dude. 25 months. That is crazy. It's good to see you, Arbo. How the heck are you doing? What have you been up to? What have you been playing lately? We actually just started a new game on stream. This is uh, the latest Sherlock Holmes game requested by Phantasma. It's really cool so far. Um, yeah, so we found her makeup and stuff. Not probably that useful but yeah all that other stuff we found in there that's probably stolen is very useful information I wonder if I can talk to him about that yeah so the couches we have in our living room they're like the seat is like really wide so like I can comfortably sit like cross-legged on there with no problem it's great oh my gosh Arbo congratulations dude that is amazing boy Girl, what's their name? That's awesome. Congrats. That is amazing, dude. Hopefully it was a nice, quick, and easy process. Also being the third baby, I've heard subsequent ones can be a little bit easier. And it was a boy, and it's Arby the fourth. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. Congratulations again, dude. Now, you have one or two girls. I believe you have a girl, too, right? Oh, pizza, Rainbow. What kind of pizza? Ah, okay, we can show him some evidence. I am needed elsewhere. Never mind. Wait, did I? Oh, I had the wrong thing highlighted. Let me try this. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Oh, that's so cool, Arbo, and you got a beautiful family. Congratulations, dude. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. How, how long does it usually take? Not having, you know, uh, gone through that process myself. Is it usually like just a day or two? Hopefully they come home real soon. Um, yes, yeah, so let's show her this or show him this. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, oh, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. I really don't believe he did it. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Yeah, I think we've shown him all the evidence we need to. So young and so dead another mystery to investigate my friend oh that sounds delicious rainbow is that homemade or did you guys get it somewhere why is this showing like this something about the, the lock ordinary cheap brass A remarkably weak lock. simple lock hmm okay weak lock easy to break in I guess that's probably what we need to know for that I can't leave I don't have to, like, hold the button down or anything for it, right? Is that not the door I came in? Is there another entrance? Maybe it's this door. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, I'm stuck! <laughs> I thought maybe I was missing something. Oh, Domino's! Domino's has such good deals. That's, like, the perfect thing when you don't want, like, the cheapest pizza. Like, uh, Little Caesars or something that's kind of like cardboard with some cheese on it. But you want a really good pizza that's also not too expensive. Whenever I would host parties, we always got Domino's because you can get a lot for a decent price. Oh yeah, look at my jacket. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's not even like really a glitch. It's just like your, your jacket, your clothes got all ruffled and they're stuck, you know? <laughs> that's funny. I wonder if I run if it'll uh, come back off. Nope. Our jacket's just stuck there. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. That's that's very true, though, Arbo. It really depends. Some um, places have 
better dominoes than others. They're not all created equal. Even though they should all be following the same recipe. Okay, so... Where are we on this one right now? The door between rooms has a cheap lock. So my guess is it's going to be their next door neighbor, which is that... Over right here? Is that this room? Who's their neighbor? How do I get to that room? Those are the sharp eyes of a man with a bright mind. Almost like mine. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be stuck forever. Oh, key from reception. Like, how do I see that most recent... I guess, update. Because as you collect tons and tons of clues and you're doing a lot of things, how do I know what the most recent thing I should be doing is? Here it is. Okay, so you just got to find the ones that have all these things. This is like the pinned one, I guess, if I bring it up. But yeah, it says at the very bottom here that we can get the key from reception. Nice. Okay, look for the exclamation points. So I'm guessing I need to pin this so that when I talk to reception, I actually ask the correct question versus just trying to like, you know, shoot the shit with them. Could be a closet, that's true. I've already pinned it. Oh yeah, he also went to the bar. We could maybe ask the bartender about that. Sorry, maybe a guest noticed him. Do you know anything about this? That's a question I can answer. Aha, I found a witness who advises that Lord Craven spent only a short time in the bar after he left the seance room. He said he was there for like over an hour, right? What is a short time? Help me, please. I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. That might be the closest thing that we need. Okay, let's look at... Which one? Here we go. Wait, which one of these... Is it this one? I thought one of these talked about getting it from the front desk. Let's go to the front desk anyway. Maybe I don't even need to have a pinned comment there. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. Oh. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. We actually got um, the key very easily. <laughs> I expect it to be a little bit tougher. Okay, so right next to 226. Two twenty-five. There we go. See, he was already in here. You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. He got in there before we did. We had the key. There's something up with John. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration oh. was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Good choice. So observe, we get to kind of check them out. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> and you're not wrong, Phantasma. You're not wrong. Okay, he took a heavy blow. We saw that bleeding nose. Trained in sleight of hand. Where did he get that? He's just holding the book. I guess that's why he's the world's greatest detective, or is that Batman? Slight discoloration. Used a lot of makeup. Hmm. Oh, because he was trying to look like the ghost, or what does that mean? 
something with this hand. Oh. There we go. Uh, fresh scrapes, slightly bleeding. Or what that was from. Skinny seems malnourished. Okay, so what do we think? The medium is down on his luck. It says, Luca Galici is lean and appears malnourished. His nose is bleeding from a heavy punch. He uses makeup to hide the traces of his illness from malnourishment. His hands and thin fingers indicate that he is skilled at conjuring tricks used to manipulate concealed items. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrists from a recent and short fight. I think he tries his best at, as a medium, but his business doesn't go well, and he sometimes has to go without food. Or, Luca Galici is lean and appears malnourished, his nose is bleeding from a punch, his hands are, are thin, definitely those of a thief, trained in the delicate work of pickpocketing. He uses the makeup to hide possible uh, gal ta or jail tattoos. Okay, that's what that's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, you too, Alex? You too? <laughs> Alex Friesman, 22 months. 22. Holy cow. How's it going, Alex? Glad to see you're still around. What is up? <laughs> nice surprise there. Totally caught me by surprise. Oh, nice catch, too. I wonder, is Sling 90 kind of like the best angle, or does 90 go like straight up and down? It might be like just doing a jump. You got all of them! Brilliant. Nice job, dude. <laughs> Wonderful jumps. Um, let's see here. Thank you again so much, dude. Um, so he maybe uses makeup to hide jail tattoos and he has fresh scratches and scrapes. We know about that. I believe he is more a criminal than a medium. And this is his new way of earning money by deceiving the wealthy. Hmm. What do you guys think? And Holly, how's it going, Holly? <laughs> Such skill. <laughs> much jumps. Um, do we think he's a thief or that he's just starving and using makeup to uh, cover malnourishment things? I don't know. I think he might be more of a thief. Hmm. Yeah, I, w I don't know when the Twitch stuff is supposed to pop up. Maybe I didn't actually set it up properly. And you think of the first one? And maybe mediums are starving, much like artists? That would make sense. And you're also feeling Thief, Holly? Ooh, I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to go with Thief. The fact that she's dead makes you think, like, who else knew there was a diamond involved? Uh, it just seems like it has to be this one. <laughs> I'm going to go with Thief. I'm going to go with Thief. Oh, so you did that a while, Alex, and it just takes a long time to process? That's crazy. Okay, let's try this. I think so, Holly. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be able to let you guys vote, but it doesn't seem to be connected. I might try it one more time. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. Not in the necessary state for summoning. <laughs> Spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's a... Uh... Too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. <laughs> he sounds so shady. He sounds so shady. It, it probably doesn't. It probably doesn't. Um, yeah, may maybe next time we start it, or maybe when I take a break, we might just quit and restart real quick to see if it makes a difference. Although I did start the game, turn on streaming mode, but I wasn't streaming at the time. And then when we re restarted again, uh, when I actually started streaming, I did try to log in again. And Alex, you don't know how you have an anniversary on one date, which you can inform about, oh, as if it was a sub? Yeah. And a day when the sub runs out is different, and you can renew it and get an alert. It's like, do you get double the alerts? Is that what's going on? 
Okay, let's ask him about his scratches first. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. I think that was the woman scratching you trying to save herself. Oh, does it always do that, Rainbow? <laughs> yeah, were your scratches from murder? Okay. What evidence do we want to produce? I think the only one that really makes sense is that uh, ring with the moth design, because he had uh, something else with the moth design. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. You know what? I actually think they might have been working together and then he double-crossed her to take it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. He's <laughs> so full of crap. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Okay, thank you, Hasipa. Yeah, I was curious how it was supposed to look. Just for the heck of it. Let's go to options. Settings. Well, actually, without actually quitting the game, like maybe we can like save it here. Where is the save and options? Yeah, let's save it here. Well, that was fast. I like that. So we'll we'll quit, try to enable streaming mode, and then just restart it again right here. Oh, there was no main menu. That just like quit the game, quit the game. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's okay. At least we're trying it anyway. I like their little intro scene. That's cool. Yeah, Alex, the more celebration, the better. I'm all for multiple, you know, uh, acknowledgements, multiple alerts going off. Son of a. I just skipped all of the intro scenes I didn't mean to and loaded the game. Whoa, I popped up somewhere else, too. Okay, let me try it again. Actually, main menu. This is where I really wanted to go. Okay, there we go. I didn't mean to quit the game completely. So, gameplay. It says logged in a streamer. I think we're already logged in. Like, I can't click it. So maybe it'll just work now. We'll try it. Yeah, turn it off, turn it back on again. Exactly. Okay, so... Oh yeah, now I see at the bottom left it says initiate voting. I don't know what you vote for. Map will be centered on location which receives the most votes. <laughs> what? I guess if I want to ask you guys, where do you guys want to go next? You guys can actually vote on just where we go. That's interesting. I don't think we'd be doing that too much. I don't see any results from the vote. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty much exactly where we need to go. <laughs> so he was 226, I believe, right? 225 was the murderer. I mean, the mediums. Yeah, I don't think anybody knew what we were voting on. It's supposed to be like 40 seconds. That one was only like 15 seconds. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Okay, now this is highlighted again. But we already looked at this, right? We already looked at that. Did I miss something on the table? We already Someone looked... was not happy with his post? We looked at that. Or this table. 
Here we go. I missed this. I did miss this letter. Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know, well, did he, did he pledge that he was going to donate money? Because I mean, that's just the same, right? <laughs> Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. <laughs> the memes are going to go on forever, Phantasma. I think what's going to happen, Holly, with the Twitch integration is when we do a proper one, hopefully you guys will see somewhere on the chat screen or something where you can actually like, or on the stream screen itself sometimes, you can click on what you want to vote for, hopefully. Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it. You know that. Okay, so Mind Palace is highlighting. I'm thinking that's what we have to do next, right? Okay. Oh, now we have all kinds of things to deduce. All right. Hmm. Well, we have the moth ring and the moth pin. Okay. Lu Luke, Luca and Emma could have met before. That's what I was thinking. Um, they both have jewelry with the same moth design. Could they have something in common? What else do we have that might be connected? Lord Craven had to pay the compensation for beating the servants. Okay, Luke and Craven were neighbors, and also the lock can be easily picked. I think that's an important one. Let's combine these. The lock between the two hotel rooms was weak. Luca could easily pick it. Oh, there might have been more we can do in there, Phantasma. Let's go check that out, yeah. Look, it was right here. So I only looked at the books. Let's see what else you got. Yeah. Oh, there's the ectoplasm. Hmm? A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time, there's enough for analysis. I'm just going to steal it. How about that? What do you think about that? Letter of invitation, dear Luca. I hope you will have time to visit our estate and perform another seance. Since I was last able to speak to my husband through you, I feel that my life has changed completely. I cannot wait until I can speak to him again. I am anxious for your visit. Sincerely yours, Countess Lamore. Oh, tools and here. accessories for masterful prestidigitation. <laughs> I or, see ecto cooler. Oh, I love weapons it. Weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. Oh man, I loved all those treats back in the day. There was like those um, Slimer like popsicles, and like you can get those little like pies that had like weird green filling. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Okay, I don't need to look at all, any of those specifically. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. That looks pretty good. I see a lot of shrimp there. Okay, so you can go to your casebook to do the chemical analysis. I was wondering how that happened. So we're in the casebook. Here we go. Chemical analysis. Oh, that's neat. Whoa, it's another little mini game. Uh, available uh, reagents. We got red, green, and blue. <laughs> what flavor would you guys like? That one has three red, two green. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So, am I supposed to link these things? Oh, I can move these too? Is there like a help for this? Thank you. There's like no tutorial about this at all. I'm like, I have no idea what any of this does. So you drag out two reagents, then you drag out a operation, 
you link the two with the X button, combine it to get that. So I need to try to match the three and two. Oh, it looks like it's just that simple. Like we got this, we got that. They combine and it matches that, right? That was an easy one. So what do we learn? Okay, the reaction shows that it is a rubber latex mixed with phosphorus. As much as this chemical element is dangerous to hold in the mouth, I'm quite disappointed. I expected to find something trickier. So, yeah, we know it wasn't a ghost, at My least. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. Aww. And 99, you think if you ever get a tattoo, it's going to be Pac-Man tattoo on your forearm? It's a reference to the musical Be More Chill. Pac-Man is in a musical? That's pretty cool. I haven't thought of any tattoos I would ever get, except for something for the dogs, maybe. And the three little dots on your evidence means you talk to someone about it. That was over here in my case stuff. Oh, like this one right here. So I could probably talk to him about it. Aha, then it's evidence to provide. I need to go. And I did not pick the right option. There we go. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. That makes sense why he's so malnourished and like sick looking because he's vomiting all the time from doing this trick, right? Okay, was there anything else we needed? I think I could check the room behind him. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. Okay, so now that we have all the evidence, His door had a circle. Oh, on the other side. I didn't even think about looking at that. This side, yeah. Ordinary cheap brass, weak lock. Same evidence we got before, but at least you confirm it's the same on both sides, huh? Although I didn't see any kind of like lock picking kit or anything here. So why is this Mind Palace thing still pulsing? It's been pulsing even before we had all of the clues. I'm guessing you can start it early if you wanted to. If you think like, oh, I know what this is right away. I'm guessing we have to do it in here. Scene of the crime. Okay, what else could we be looking at? We know Emma was stealing from Lord Craven. Oh, I think maybe both of these are combined. So Emma was stealing from Lord Craven, but the thief framed the servants, which is why he also beat up the servants, right? Emma was a thief, but made Lord Craven believe that the servants were stealing. She'd done it throughout the trip. Yeah. Ooh, got another one here. Luca could know Emma was a thief. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could very well know of Emma's pr predilection for thievery. Now, do you have to use every single clue or just as many as makes sense? I'm guessing you could probably be left with a few. Lord Craven stayed in the room with Emma for some time. Oh, I like this. Emma was strangled with bare hands and Luca had fresh scratches on his hands. If you were being strangled, you'd probably be clawing at the hand strangling you, right? So let's try that. Emma left scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. Makes sense to me. 
Oh, that might be it, Hasifa. Thank you for looking into that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Compensation for abuse. Lord Craven had to pay compensation for beating servants. Why is our fresh scratches still there? Did I pick the wrong one? I thought I already used that clue. Maybe it's still there for another reason. Hmm. Okay, it can be connected to more than one thing. That's good to know. I'm not sure what compensation for abuse might be connected to. Could be connected, because he's violent. I would say... Yeah, punched him. Could be connected to... Compensation for abuse. Yeah, Lord Craven is an unstable man who cannot manage his anger. That sounds correct. And then... You can get these wrong though, right? And it'll just let you keep on going. So the rough servants could also be attached to fresh scratches. Because that's what his excuse was. That's possible. I don't believe it. Oh, now we get to initiate voting. Let's see if this works. So you guys get to vote on which one of these combinations you think is correct. Do we think his scratches were because of um, he was being escorted by rough servants or because he got scratched by Emma fighting for her life? Oh yeah, it might not work. Let me just try it real quick. See if you guys see anything on the screen right now. Although that timer seems extra short. I could have sworn I made it like 40 seconds. You guys probably won't see anything until we install it. Nothing? Okay. Maybe let me try installing that real quick. You guys are going to lose that real quick. Let me just up over here. It's been a while since I installed an extension on here. Extensions under streaming tools? No. Oh, there it is. It's a separate section. I could search for Sherlock. It's got to be the only Sherlock extension, right? I think that's it. Okay, let's try this. Configure. Okay, it should be active right now. Let me close out of this. Let's try it one more time. I might have to quit and rejoin. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm gonna to try to do the uh, the thing right now. Initiate voting. So you guys get to choose. Was it scratches from servants? Scratches from Emma trying to save herself? Oh, let me switch over here. <laughs> you guys can't see it. I also have a Georgie in here. He just jumped up on the couch. Emma scratched Luca. I think that was correct too. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I don't even get to see what you guys chose until it's like done. Looks like I could change it if I want to, but I like that it just happens. Um, let's go to clues. Oh, did it not give you a chance to vote? I think somebody did. Somebody got a successful vote. And you might need to reboot again since you just installed it. I think somebody did it. Did somebody successfully vote out there? Because I didn't choose that option. It did choose it, though. Like, somebody got it working. I don't know. Well, let's try, even though we're in the middle of this, let's try saving it one more time. Main menu, and we'll just restart it that way. Hopefully, I don't have to quit the game completely. Hopefully, just that works. Let's double check that we're... We're logged in. Okay. Continue. So it did say waiting for the streamer to start broadcast. Oh, I wonder if I have to stop the stream and restart it. In which case, we won't do it until the next one. Okay, let's head back up there. At least 
quitting the game and jumping back in fixes our jacket that was stuck earlier. <laughs> That's the best time to vote, Alex. You're like, I don't know, that one sounds good. <laughs> Back to our mind palace. We got four more. So the diamond was right next to Emma's dead body. And the diamond was stolen during the seance. I'm not sure how that's connected except for thinking that Emma stole it. Those are the only two that make sense together. Ah, now you guys might be able to vote again. Let's try this one more time. Do you guys get to vote for whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her body? That's weird. Or Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. I don't think Lord Craven did it personally. I think it's going to be the first one, but we'll see if it works with you guys. All right, see if you can vote on your screen now. Oh, you could do the Mind Palace anywhere? Nice. Okay, I thought I'd be at the crime scene or something. All right, you guys chose murder or left the diamond. It's working for somebody. <laughs> I swear somebody out there is getting it. Otherwise, wouldn't it just say like 0%, I'm assuming? But I'm not sure. Okay, so now we have a new clue. Um, okay, so you saw the Twitch integration, but it's not connecting. Oh, it's defaulting to an option. Okay, never mind. Um, we'll probably just do voting through just me chatting with you right now. And we'll probably have to restart the stream, honestly, is my guess. Uh, the medium, Luca uh, Galici, could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for her crime. Whoa. So... We can choose right now if he's the murderer or not. Emma tried to frame Luca, the medium, for her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. So we can bring Luca to justice. Luca is a murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Or help him escape. Oh, this is interesting. Luca fought for his life. Given his checkered past, if he were arrested, nothing could save him from a death sentence. And Emma knew it. I will not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. Wow, you can actually have, like, mercy on him. I don't have much mercy for this guy. There was two other clues, though. Lord Craven was in the room with Emma, but he was also spotted at the bar. What do we get for that? So Lord Craven had enough time to kill Emma before I arrived. The murderer had time to kill Emma while Lord Craven was drinking downstairs. He wasn't there very long, but he didn't necessarily have to be. I'm gonna, I think we should choose this one. Yeah, that's my guess is maybe I have to have it running now that it's all connected properly and then start the stream is my guess, Rainbow. So based on this, I really wanna just say, let's bring him to justice. I don't see a reason to help him escape. Um, yeah, I could see him doing it for selfish reasons to protect himself, but I don't think he's justified in what he's doing at all. And you can switch the options around to see other endings. Oh, that's neat. Um, but what do you mean switch the options around? Like do it once, reload, and do it again? Okay, let's bring him to justice. Oh, you have to hold it. Luca is a murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Oh, and then you can switch conclusion. I see. That's what you mean by change options. You could just do it that easily. Oh, it's just the same thing, though. Either way. I think this is the correct answer. So you choose the opposite option of the dual nodes and then see the screen you just saw, but just for Lord Craven. Oh, I see, I see. You come to the a different final conclusion. I think we'll, we'll stick with this one. So then I just hit back. This is the one selected. Then I back out. Now do I just talk to him to initiate everything? Do something about it, Holmes. I 
I did not do it. You know not that. Yet. I feel like we have more mind palace stuff to do. That makes sense. Is it? It's actually us that's going to bring him to justice. We don't have to contact the police or something first. All right, Luca, you're in trouble. Ah, then you get to accuse. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. I mean, these are all the clues we need to give him. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> when he starts stuttering, you know he's like, ooh, how'd you know that? Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> Aha. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Really, Phantasma? Does it tell you if you're wrong or not? Or you just, like, kept on going with that? And Frost, Holmes, dead thousand yard stare eyes when you are picking a choice gets me out. It's kind of scary. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I. Uh, I. Huh. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? twice. I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink, all I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Oh no, Alex, that sucks. I hate it when you break something you like like that. That's no bueno. Hopefully you had a replacement or something else you could use at work. Ah, you can still... Give them a chance to run away. I'll give you a chance. That's still no reason for murder, unfortunately. You must be. I like the, the word clink. It does sound a little bit more modern, though, doesn't it? <laughs> I like your reasoning, Phantasma. Eat the rich, right? Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. Dun, dun, dun. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. <laughs> now we already have a... He murdered the woman who put him villain. in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. Yeah, it's not good to have murderers coming after you. <laughs> hey, we got an achievement. Nice. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder. And then we get to solve it. Not every man. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, 
There was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, <sighs> damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be <laughs> off. It's time to do what we came here for. Oh, that's pretty. Where is this supposed to be? They might have said it and I missed it. Nice case complete. How are you doing, Lynn? It's good to see you. Welcome. Cordona. Where's Cordona? <laughs> I guess, like, continent-wise, country-wise, more specific? Or is that the name of a country that I'm not familiar with? Okay, this is probably a great time. Oh, it's just a made-up place? All right. Uh, probably a great time for me to take a little break to get some coffee, give you a chance to murder each other yourselves and earn some more tokens. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is save it, quit... And then when we start the game back up, maybe it will actually connect with all of the Twitch integration so you guys can actually do proper voting, right? Oh, I have been so good, Lynn. Life is good. I'm excited to have a three-day weekend. Although Saturday, we have a uh, birthday party for my wife's niece at our house. So we've been spending a lot of time cleaning up the backyard, getting things ready. i got more to do tomorrow. There we go. And you figured it was Watson since they called him John. Could be another John, I suppose. Yeah, it seems like John is our Watson. I was expecting Sherlock and Watson too. But it's funny having my name spelled correctly, I might add, in the game. I like that. <laughs> oh, it's in Spain, Hearts. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, yeah, it said young Sherlock as well. I don't know if this is supposed to be like his first case. I don't think so. But like early cases, I guess. So I'm going to quit here so that we, when we restart it, we'll get the proper, um, hopefully, Twitch integration. Test that out. Oh, you celebrated your birthday last weekend? Happy, um, I've started the wrong game. Happy uh, belated birthday, Lynn. That's awesome. Did you do anything fun? What'd you end up doing? Okay. Where is that game? Here it is. Oh, they actually name, renamed the game. It used to just be called Stream Animals. Now I think they call it Stream Animals Free For All. Looks like they did some updates to it. That's interesting. Oh, is the name John H. Watson? Perfect. Perfect. It is still Watson. Good. Good. I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah, look at this. There's like new animations and stuff. I feel like it's been a long time since we played this. Okay, let me just connect it to my Twitch account. I authorize you to steal all my personal information. You may close this window. It should be connecting. Oh, how fun. I love escape rooms, Lynn. I've done like 20 of them. They're all so much fun. True, it is J-O-N, not J-O-H-N, but I, I prefer that. I prefer that. Come on and connect to Twitch. What are you waiting for? I think it's having some problems. Can I look at the settings? Maybe fix it there. General. Oh, I didn't realize all these different options for battle mode. That's cool. I think they've added quite a bit here. Okay, it's still not connecting to Twitch. I'm going to cancel and try it again. Authorize. There we go. Now something's popped up. We have detected in-game purchases that need to be converted to the new free-to-play system. Okay, so I did purchase some stuff for this game. So you have uh, different animals to pick from. It looks like they jacked that all up. This can only be performed one time for a single Twitch account. Okay, so it looks like it's taking my purchases that I did on Steam and trying to tie it into my Twitch account. The hell? <laughs> like, what's the point of that? Are people like sharing a Steam account with multiple Twitch streamers so they don't have to buy the animals? I don't know. Sure, I'm the only one that's going to use this. Confirm. This is my main Twitch account. Interesting. Interesting. Successfully converted your Steam inventory. Oh, this is all new. I haven't seen any of this. I got like a little character up there. What is this? I can customize. 
I have more animals than this. At least I thought I did. I'm gonna go with the dog. Here's the store. This is where you can spend more money. See, I, I bought all these things before. But it gives me, like, points? I don't know. I could have sworn I bought most of this before. <laughs> I'm not sure what it actually converted. Okay, well, let's see what it's like in the game. Let's go to Survival Season. What is this? Survival Season is our ranked version of Classic Mode. Hmm. Ranked version. Maybe we should try that out. I'm not sure exactly how that works. <laughs> of course it's short for John Katie. <laughs> Absolutely. And does everything need you to restart Steam? It sure seems like it, right, Holly? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's try this survival season. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Your viewers can download the game from Steam to customize their appearance. See, before you used to just be able to customize it by typing it in there. Okay. Complete or compete against all players in any stream and survival seasons. Players are awarded points on the season leaderboard each game based on their rank. The top three players in each season will win exclusive rewards. Okay. You need at least five players to do a ranked match. That might be tricky because sometimes we don't have five people joining in here. But uh, let's try it for this one. So go ahead. Yeah, I have less animals now. I used to have more. Okay. I'm going to join. So go ahead and type exclamation point join in the chat and that'll get you in here. And then all you have to do, I believe, is move around the map and try to avoid hazards and things like that. I think that's what it did, Holly. It looked like it gave me a whole bunch of coins to spend on some stuff. So that's my guess is what that was. Yeah, so you can also type join or the name of one of the animals if you want something more specific, which I'll go with the dog. There we go. And then of course, you can also just type exclamation point auto and it'll actually move itself around, which is really nice. There we go. Now we got enough for a real game. So it also goes through multiple matches. So you have two options. You can type auto or you can um, just wait for the turn to happen. And it'll tell you what options you can do, whether you're voting on a disaster or moving north, south, east or west. It's super easy. So I'm going to go get my coffee, say goodnight to Andy because she has work tomorrow and I'll be back in just a little bit.
All right. That was a ridiculous round. It was over in like two turns or something. So has it been giving you guys tokens when you win the game? I didn't see any notifications in the chat. So that makes me think that when they did the update to the game, which kind of <laughs> mucked everything up, it also seems like it's not properly giving tokens. So I might have to do that manually this time and maybe I can set up the automation later because before it happened automatically, which was really nice. I know, right, Hearts? What are the chances? What are the chances that we all did that? <laughs> like that one time Atlantis sank. I'm already dead. Rainbow's already dead. We just have Hearts, Holly, and Alex left. Yeah, but if I'm looking at the chat, I don't see anything about tokens being given out, so I don't think it's working like it used to. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> It happens so quick, doesn't it? Can I vote by clicking? I think I can, yeah. Let's do a lightning strike. That's real quick and painful. <laughs> no, we didn't get energy before either, Holly. I'm not exactly sure what that is. That might have to do with this being like a the ranked version, which I guess every season i don't know how long it lasts if you get in the top five rankings or whatever it said you can actually uh earn some unique things which is really cool i think you probably were rainbow yeah i think there's like a previous champion that it, it shows oh gosh alex you're a goner it looks like they updated some of the graphics too like i don't remember that smoke graphic from the lightning before Before, it would also give you, like, random hats if you were a subscriber. I don't think it's doing that right now. And then there were two. I've seen some of these go on a long time and there's, until there's just, like, a few spaces to stand left. Chicken. <laughs> they might have some new ones. Sorry, Alex. It was random who it hit, but I did vote for it. <laughs> Poor Alex. <laughs> you know, levels like this remind me of Bomberman. Have you guys ever played those uh, Bomberman games? I absolutely love those. I remember when I was like in junior high, we rented... Um, Super Bomberman on the, the Super Nintendo. And when we rented it, they actually gave us a multi-tap. Oh no, hearts! He got you! They gave us a multi-tap with two extra controllers. So we were able to play it with four players. That just blew my mind. The first time I ever played a console game with four players, like in 1992 or something. Nice job. Good job, Holly. Okay, so before it starts a new one, let me go over here and check the leaderboard. And this will tell me. So Holly, you actually won two games and Rainbow won one, but I don't think it's given out tokens. So I'm going to do that manually this time. And before the next time we play this game, I'll be sure to go ahead and set that up. So Holly, you're getting two. And Rainbow, you get one. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, right, Alex, it was you with your name. You're the only one that voted for it. So wait, um, can I look at anything besides this leaderboard? I, I wonder what that energy is. Like, I don't see the energy anywhere here. Um, you can sort by score. I don't see anything about energy, though. What is that? Change mode, reset map. Oh, ranked? Do I have to click on that? No. Yeah, I don't know where that energy comes in. That one's interesting. It must only be for survival mode, yeah. I'll have to look into that more. And I also need to know how to buy all my stuff back. I think I have to spend some of those tokens they gave me to uh, regain all my lost animals and stuff that I had purchased. All right. Hopefully it's like a one-to-one -one thing. That would kind of suck if I bought the game and bought all this extra stuff. And because they changed currencies, I can no longer get as much as I used to have. <laughs> that would be my only huge complaint. I don't care that they went free to play and that they, uh, you know, 
require a Twitch integration to get stuff. I just want to be sure that it, I still have what I bought before. Okay, so now that we have the extension on and turned on, let me go ahead and double check that we're connected to Twitch here. Ah, see, now it's not logged in. So we'll go ahead and do this again. Oops, something went wrong. Let me try it again. Okay, it says Twitch connected, but it doesn't show connected here. It still says log in a streamer. Let me try it again. It op when I do this, it opens up like a browser window and it just says, oops, something went wrong. And I can click the link to try again. Oh, now it says Twitch connected. Okay, good. It still didn't update there though. I think I think you're right, Phantasma. <laughs> it's been more of a pain than it's worth. Let me try this one more time. Once I get it to say yes, you connected, we're just gonna start the game and see if it works. Click try again. Okay, it says connected. It doesn't say connected there, but it said in the browser. Continue. Let's jump back into this. <laughs> That's true too. It definitely helps when you have like probably a ton of people voting. So we just finished that quest. Um, now what's our main goal? Let's see. Is that going to be under casebook? So under archived, we have ghosts of the past. We still have a mother's love. So today, well, that's the, I think that's the wrong one. Why is it talking about the seance? It's like we already completed the seances thing. I wonder why it shows up there. That's interesting. Oh, hearts, you get some good sleep, dude. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope we see you again on Tuesday. We will not have a stream on uh, Saturday. I'll be sure to post in the Discord, of course, but because we have our niece's um, uh, birthday party on Saturday here during the normal stream time, we have to cancel that one. Okay, just trying to remember. Actually, let me just read this little thing to you guys. So I arrived at Cordona, the island where I spent my childhood, accompanied by my only friend, John. It is late evening, but I have a room booked at the Hotel Il Palazzo de Luso. I simply need to check in with the receptionist. We did all that. It seems that if I must spend a night here before I visit my mother's grave. So our main goal is to visit our mom's grave. I spent one night at the Il Palazzo and fell into a criminal investigation. That's not how I imagined my time at Cordona but the thrill of the case helped to distract me from darker thoughts. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End. There is a figure of a crying angel on Mother's tombstone. There we go. And those clues that have the compass signal means you have to go somewhere. Oh, good. There's tons of symbols to remember, huh? <clears throat> and Hasifa, you refresh the browser. Still says wait for broadcast. Has not started. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, and it also might be just them having problems, something else going on that's not connecting right. Okay, so we want to go to the cemetery at Miner's Hill. I guess we go this way. Oh, can we take a carriage there? A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, so you actually have to uh, use a map properly. Except he just took me right there. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, good night, Rainbow. Anything. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. It's so funny how differently they I think about you wanted this, to you know? remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you.
Good. I'm glad to hear they're being nice to me now, Phantasma. And if you're still the rainbow, have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope we see you again on Tuesday. Let's see. Now, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if you guys can see this on stream, but if you look at the guy that's closest to me, his animation is pretty smooth. If you look at the woman back there that's sweeping, her animation is really choppy. And you don't really notice it because she's so far away, but it's something that games do to help run better. Because if they try to make everything far away as detailed as everything is close up, it costs way too much processing. It's just kind of neat to see it when the animation actually gets uh, a little slower. <laughs> I will try my best, Hasifa. Thank you so much for the lurk, dude. So we do have to keep it pinned so that we can... Um, doesn't put anything on our compass, but I'm guessing when we need to talk to somebody, we ha need to have that pinned. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. May I ask you something? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Let's see. We need something in the casebook right now. I thought we were just going to go visit the grave. Okay, remembering the funeral. John asked if I remembered my mother's funeral. I don't, but I can try to recall something. Okay, so I can pin that one. Place on map. Looks like it's straight ahead this way. May I ask for your assistance? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. I think it's more this way. Oh, I have to go back to John? As he tells me to go remember your mom's funeral, I'm like, okay, let's go find that gravestone and remember it, right? Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Thank you for catching me running in the wrong direction. <laughs> Thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. <clears throat> the service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. Oh, that's really cool, Alex. I love that they have kind of, um, you know, region-specific mods like that. That's really funny. <laughs> I had no idea that even existed. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine. You're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. This is a really cool looking graveyard. Oh, they're working on it now. Nice. And that's for the first portal game? Pocket watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Hmm. Interesting. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, mother. Oh, that's probably very true, Alex. I mean, the games are so similar. Two adds a few extra features, but. You could probably mod the first one and make just as cool of an interesting idea. And Jada, you're going to rugby now. Oh, how fun. Good luck with that. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Have, enjoy. Okay, what's the deal with this pocket watch? VH? Is that what that this says? This watch was a gift. My mother's <laughs> initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. 
It must have been placed here only recently. Interesting. <laughs> we'll steal it. Oh, and a candle's lit. A candle in a small <laughs> puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Okay, I think that was all to do right here. This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? So what, I guess to kind of keep me on the right flow, Phantasma, what keys me to know I should look at my casebook? Because sometimes I get an icon on or something. Right now I have no icons at all. Okay, Mysterious Visitor is our new case. Um, the pocket watch belonged to my mother and shows no sign of exposure to the elements, so it hasn't been out a lot. Okay, just check it whenever you finish a step. Okay. And the candle was lit no more than half an hour ago, so we know at the very least that pocket watch was probably placed there within the last 30 minutes. Okay, so let's pin that evidence. What does that do for me? Or talking to him maybe gets a different reaction now. This is excessive, no. Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Maybe we're just looking for somebody around here that has seen something? In 99, you're rewatching Be More Chill, and you realized a very cool detail. Basically, in the musical, the main character, Jeremy, is a loser, and he gets a supercomputer implanted in his brain that's supposed to tell him how to be cool. Jeremy has a major crush on a girl named Christine, and while the squip, that's the computer, normally micromanages Jeremy's every move, it completely leaves him alone when he talks to Christine, because it knows Christine would like him as he is. Oh, that's really cute. I like that idea. The computer's like, no, be, be natural. Be natural. Did I miss a circle? Come on, John. Where is it? Oh, I did not see those before. Is it because I wasn't looking to the right? No, they must have popped up. I don't know how I missed them. All right, we got footprints. Okay, about five and a half feet tall. Fashionable shoes, brand new. A man new. in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. Kind of on the short side. <clears throat> Okay, good. We know somebody we need to talk to in the probably local area, if it was less than 30 minutes ago. Could still be around. Oh, there's somebody over there. Ah, uh, so when you pin something, then new evidence will appear, like, on the screen. Is that right? It's not just for conversations, I guess. Those fashionable shoes. He could be 5'5". Five five. May I ask for your assistance? There is no amount of money that would make me talk. Whoa, dude, I'm not trying to bribe you. <laughs> I just had a question if you've seen somebody. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. <laughs> this guy again? Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Mr. Holmes. Did you come for another portrait? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. So he knows about our mom. 
Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course. We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. Hmm. I think I might kind of agree with that. Like, I definitely have music that just, like, hits me in the emotions, you know? But I don't know if I've ever seen a picture or artwork or something that really takes me to that same level of emotions that music typically does. Not that I don't appreciate good art, but I don't know. It just doesn't make me feel like music does. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh, my. It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After was her who? death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure? Answers? Penance? Closure, I suppose. I wouldn't call it loitering. What is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. Ah. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. <laughs> I imagine we don't know better than him, actually. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. Our jacket is so bunched up right now. Look, both sides are messed up. The left side. Oh, there we go. We got it loose. We got it loose. <laughs> He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. Okay, so the archives at City Hall Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold uh, key information for your case. When the investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. Okay, making sure there's not a new clue that we have to look at. Okay, let's bring that one up. Uh, investigate his story about our mother's death. Now, can we use our map to travel to these places? I don't know if they just show up on the map or not. Well, this place is huge! Police station. There's a city hall. That was one of them, I think. Oh, you can zoom in and out. Nice. And Cordona Chronicle. I think that was the other one. Oh, okay. I think I missed this. <laughs> it is literally an imaginary friend because I was thinking like why is he just like teleporting everywhere almost he is literally in our mind okay good that makes more sense like nobody's reacted to him he's really just kind of been appearing wherever we want John is an imaginary friend okay
Okay, so if I look at here, I'm trying to see like, so we have police station, city hall, and newspaper. So the, the little tutorial thing told me those locations would be useful to get that information. How do I find that information elsewhere? I'm still kind of learning how to use their kind of note system. If I look at the quest, at least the most recent thing that I have, it doesn't mention those locations. That one doesn't either. Maybe you're remembering the funeral? No. Not there. You have to find out. Okay, but like, let's say I quit the game right now, Phantasma. And then I come back in a few days and I'm like, crap, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go because I didn't just see that tutorial message. Where do I see like where the game's kind of telling me I should be going next? I know you have to mark it on your map and find it properly, but uh, none of these quests seem to mention like where you can get information about the past. Or am I just looking in the wrong area? Not in the diary. Oh, that's how you change. Pick. Oh, that's the latest one. Okay. At the end of the paragraph, did I miss it? Okay, so if I look at this one. Okay, he also mentioned that there was a police investigation into my mother's death. I doubt that's true, but if they did, there would surely be something about it in the police archives. Didn't they say like two other places though? Um, 10 years ago, we were living somewhere in Grand Saray, which should help me narrow the search. Oh my gosh. We give him a second to get past all that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ouija666 and Bika Doodles, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you guys doing? How are both of your streams? This is a double raid. Was this a con uh, you guys co uh, colluding together? A double raid effort? That's awesome. Let me give you guys a shout out here. Bika, you were playing Lego Star Wars. I'm going to take a wild guess. Ouija was playing the exact same thing in co-op, perhaps? I think I was right. I think I was right. How are you enjoying the new LEGO Star Wars game? I've heard really good things about it. It's supposed to be much bigger and grander than most of the other LEGO games before this one. Um, thank you guys both all so much for the raid. And Lockhart Games, how you doing, dude? Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the game. We're currently playing a detective game. Uh, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. It's the most recent Sherlock Holmes game. I'm really enjoying it so far. So you can go to one of three places to get the information. Um, you have to go to the police station now, and it's already marked on your map. Okay, so the other two places they told me, I don't need to go there yet, but they'll probably be told to us again later. Um, and it's huge. That's awesome. You're done with the story and just doing the Galaxy Free Play. So are you just like collecting bonuses and like, I guess, unlockables and things like that at this point since you're done with the main story? That's awesome, though. I'm glad to hear you're liking it and that you're streaming it together. That's great. All right. I thank you guys both again so much for the raid. OK, so we want to go to the police station. We're trying to find out who maybe knew something about our mother's death. We thought it was one thing and they're telling us something else which is interesting. Oh, where did I see the police station? This one, here we go. And you're trying to 100% it, but it is a lot, Bika. I feel that. I'm not trying to 100% it, but I'm just trying to beat Elden Ring. And it's so huge. It's like, I feel like this game's never gonna end. Okay, so I want to compass mark this with the right trigger. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. So now I should be able to just kind of follow, oh, Follow the compass in general to, to kind of take us in that direction. So later on, you'll have to make a choice whether to go to the police. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, because they mentioned all those places, Phantasma, in the tutorial. And then it kind of disappeared off the screen and I couldn't get that information back. So I was mostly just asking, how do I get that information again? <laughs> oh, I like this music. This is crazy. It almost feels like a open world a little bit. Hey, okay, here's the Emperor's Aqueduct. Have you guys beaten all the other Star Wars Lego games? I've never beaten a Star Wars Lego game. I've only ever um, like tried them out with like friends and family. Oh no! Totally fine, Phantasma. 
But I've never actually, like, completed one 100%. Okay, if we follow this road, we should be able to take a right in a little bit and be on the right path. Oh, I missed the music. Man. I don't know if there's, like, a fast travel, but I imagine Sherlock Holmes is going to get it in real good shape with all this running. Let's see. So not the Star Wars games, Bika, but you did 200%. What is 200% um, Lego Pirates on stream? That kind of reminds me of um, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. In that game, when you get to around 100%, you've beaten the main game, but then the castle flips upside down, and you have to do it all over again, but harder and upside down with new enemies, and you can get over 200%. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, I think we're getting near the police station. Just a little bit further down the street. Oh, that's good to know. They do unlock fast travel later. So, out of all the LEGO games you guys have played, which has been your favorite so far? Here's the police station. What? Oh, that would be so cool to see that in Lego form, because I love Disneyland. That would be so Stark nostalgic. Do this. Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan <laughs> locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. Oh, no. So why lock himself in the archives? But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. Thank you for the lurk, Alex. I appreciate that. Enjoy your food. And Lego Pirates always holds a special place in your heart, but this new one is fantastic. I feel that, Vika. A lot of times, even though I know a game isn't the best, I have the most nostalgia for it. So... Oftentimes, nostalgia can, like, increase your internal score of a game quite a bit. All right, so let's ask him what happened. Oh, that's good. We just unlocked a fast travel point, Phantasma. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Ah, oh, God. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. <laughs> well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Okay, I think we need to change... our casebook, right? Um... Oh no, maybe it's still this one. Oh yeah, okay, it kept on this one. So to gain access to the police archive, we have to help the sketch artist capture the likeness of the culprit. So yeah, I think we're still on the correct one. Oh, we have to change it over here. Although it's kind of confusing because under motherly love, this one also has the same description about the sketch artist. But then over here, it's a little bit more detailed. Okay, so it's at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way. Let's see where that is on the map. Yeah, we do need the details of where to go. I'm just wandering around blindly. It was Knights and Trinity? Yeah. Here's Knight's Road. Wait, where did Knight's Road go? It disappeared. Oh, is this going to be one of those weird roads that kind of like disappears and then resumes somewhere else? It is in Scaladio. It is in this area. There's Harbor, Adler, 
DNS. Yeah, because see, it looks like um, Knight's Road kind of combines with Thunder Road, and we miss it. Trinity is northwest. Oh, I see it. Trinity right, right there. There we go. Missed that. Nice. Okay, so we need to exit and then take a right. And it should be that first intersection after that. I think it's like right back here. Oh, I probably could have marked that on my map, huh? Miss Nini's Atlier. Right here. This is it. That's cool. I like actually needing to think about where you're going. You know, sometimes as convenient as waypoints can be, sometimes it can kind of put you on autopilot and you're not even paying attention to what you're really doing anymore. I'm pleased to meet you, Mom. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, Signore. <laughs> That's funny. I hate it, Fantasma. <laughs> Please describe the thief. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. Glasses. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Senor Holmes. <laughs> That's cute. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Because she can't describe somebody to us, we need to try to dress up as them. And then she'll tell us if we got it right or not. That's funny. And Frost Holmes looking like an RPG character with one sleeve randomly rolled up. If only he had, like... 30 belts on Frost, he could be a Final Fantasy character. Okay, what do we want to try here? Okay, you'll hit dead ends with your investigations if you don't dress appropriately. Luckily, Sherlock has a penchant for disguise. So visit the wardrobe menu to change his outfit. Oh, that's cool. Am I just literally stealing everything I can get my hands on. Is that sure what it feels like? And Gamma! Add some zippers and it could be from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, do you want belts for Final Fantasy? Zippers for Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I love it. That thing's terrifying. I thought that was Vision from the Avengers for a second. <laughs> I don't like that mannequin. The face on that guy. Like, just make it blank or something. I don't know. I don't like it. Doesn't have hands? the hell? Oh, I should do this. There we go. What else we can pick up? Uh, that might have been everything, actually. Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Come on, at least do him first. That makes sense, Frost. S similar or same designer in this case. Is there anything in here we need to take? Or just in the back room? I think that might have been it. Oh no, he's all wrong. You look nothing like him. <gasps> okay, I need what a change in the other room. Exactly. Why everything? He had glasses and bruises and... Were you listening to me at all? Ah, excuse me. Um, I definitely rolled up sleeves before, but I've never just rolled up one sleeve. Oh yeah, we have a wardrobe tab. Okay, so here's all of our different outfits. The way... I think it's going to be this criminal chic. Thank you, Phantasma. <laughs> Let's apply that. 
I know we need glasses. Let's try that. And I think we need bruises. So this, this is pretty neat. We're like a totally different character. John's favorite suit. Yes, I wash it sometimes. Why? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's neat. We're like a different person. He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular and evil looking. I probably right, I'll try another pair. I probably don't have to like leave the room to talk to her. Oh, I do have to leave the room. As it says, you cannot change clothes here. There we go. Let's try Oof, wrong button. This one. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a mustache. Yes. The kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear mustaches, but I get your point, Marla. Nice. This is like somebody that ties people to the railroad. Is that what I'm hearing? Which kind of mustache do we want? These are all kind of weak. Well, I guess we could do a pencil mustache. It's not very sinister. I wanted the big twirly kind. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. Could you give me like three clues at a time, lady? <laughs> okay, beige suit. Is that beige? That's white. Ugly beige suit, nailed it. Yes, I think so elegant, which is good. I mean, for a video game, they could just let you get away with it anywhere, but I kind of like that little bit of extra realism. He was wearing a hat. Didn't I tell you about the hat? No, you didn't. It didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know, black. No, I don't know what a regular hat is. If somebody asked me for a regular hat, I'd probably say like a ball cap or something. Obviously, they don't have ball caps here, but here's hats. As far as their regular hats, it's probably this one right here. Ah, it's you. I mean, it's him. Whoa. It's him. That was Excellent. creepy. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. Nice. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Free rentals, huh? Interesting. I don't know how that works. What kind of business model is that? Okay, so I think we need to go back to the police officer. Yeah, to be frank, do you even know the name of any of these hats? If I was looking at them, I'm not going to read the hat names. I'm going to go off of what I would think in real life. Just what I know. Oh, I can't look at them all. One of them I'd say was like a bowler's hat. One was a top hat. Just trying to remember off the top of my head. The one over here looks like a conductor hat. You know, like a, like a train conductor or something. Oh, they call it police cap. And one of them was a fez. The one with the little... Uh, tassel at the top. I think that's a fez. I know we had it. Well, I mean, we steal everything else. Why not the clothes? Okay, so let's see if we can fast travel here. Don't think so. Maybe because we're so close. But it's yeah, it's so close. Might as well just run around the corner again. It is very convenient how close that was. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite 
Tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. The police is going to hire us? <laughs> oh, okay, so it takes you to like the general area, Phantasma, but not directly to the building. Which way is the archives? This door? There it is. Probably only one thing here we need to actually look at. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great, although we're not a real cop. I don't know how easily we can do that. But I would love to say, uh, all these clothes, even the nice ones, evidence. Sorry, I have to take them. Oh, here's something. A sketch and a thief. The police need to get a sketch of the thief who robbed Miss Nini's Etler. Um, the sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit, but my disguise skills may prove more efficient. The atelier's look- oh, we already done all that. Now that I have the thief's portrait, I can take it back to Constable Stark. So we're trying to search now for stuff on our mom. So we want... I guess we'll start with crimes. If it's about a death, I'm assuming violent crimes? Subject. Victims. Evidence. Documentation. Oh crap, I don't remember where it happened. Let's just try searching that. No information. <laughs> um, I'm probably supposed to know this. The location. Oh, you can only pick three things. So hit left and around the D-pad to pin. Oh, we need to bring the evidence in this first. That's right. It's not working right now on the D-pad. Let's go here. Okay, we were living in Grand Saray, which should help narrow the search. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now it looks like it's pinned, I believe. So I'm still gonna guess, actually, maybe we don't have to worry about crime. We want victim. Documentation. In Grand Saray. Hey, got a missing police file. All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled thusly, Case of Violet Holmes, that's our mom, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grand Syrah, or Surrey. Uh, there are no documents inside at all. It seems there really was a police investigation, yet all the files are missing. That's interesting. Hmm, we found the right thing. Somebody ganked all the data out of there. What the heck? Oh yes, Lockhart Games. I think it is the same studio. Good eye, catching that little detail. Okay, so we have a place we need to go check out now. Uh oh, in a cutscene. Oh, we're having some memories. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? Hmm. What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, do we have a new clue for that? Rather than cycling through everything, it's probably easier just to go here. There we go. 
tin evidence. Oh, it should have told me the location. It's in Grand Saray, Stonewood Manor. Okay, let's see if that shows anywhere on the map. Grand Saray. This area, Stonewood Manor. Could be on like a Stonewood Road. They might even label it though too. <clears throat> I don't see a Stonewood anywhere. So that's just the name of the manor. Well, maybe we have to go look around and try to find something that looks like that picture we have pinned. That's probably my guess. I don't think it gave us an intersection on that one. Say so we had a glimpse of a bridge and a church on a hill. So we have some landmarks to look for. A bridge and a church on a hill. So somewhere near that. Okay, weren't we supposed to talk to that guy again before we left, if I remember correctly? This place is huge. I think I took a wrong turn. This way. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception <laughs> desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. So it seems like this is going to be side quests if you want to do extracurricular missions. And uh, Phantasm, that reminds me of when you're trying to find a grave and your grandpa said, okay, look for the big tree next to a trash can in a graveyard. Yeah. There should be trash cans everywhere, right? <laughs> and lots of big trees. Oh, that's funny. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. Oh, yeah, the first targets combat. are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. That's a good point, Frost. It's like, come on, why uh, <laughs> why are we doing this when it'd be much easier just to find the guy, probably. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Well, that's neat. Oh, there's like a timer on it. Okay. I'm hoping I don't have to do them all at once. It kind of um, connects to it a little bit. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Like there's a, there's a bit of auto aim, which makes it helper helpful. Come on, Sherry, it's just like in childhood. What do I have to do here? Duck. Uh, press B to toggle between st standing crouch to roll. Press Y. There we go. Steady, Sherry. Steady, and go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. Okay, so maybe we have to shoot that guy's gun out of his hands and then shoot that chandelier down. Oh, his hat. There we go. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Hey. All right, let's move on, Sherry. What was that thing I shot in his chest? Was that his heart? <laughs> the dummy's heart? 
That's so funny. I love that. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Okay, so right here, press right bumper to use a snuff box. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Okay, so if enemies have a helmet, they're protected from your gun, snuff box, and environmental effects. Always remove a foe's armor before engaging, which isn't like that right there. And then do this. Oh, I don't have more snuff box. Oh, that was a chest plate piece of armor. That's so funny, though. As you saw, Frost, it's like, why don't we just find the investigator? Apparently, that's going to be one of the uh, side quests. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take Aww. these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? It's still Always dangerous. Ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Sherry. And remember, the surroundings are your playground. So it says, murder is cruel and excessive. Try to arrest the enemy instead. Disorient your opponent, get in close, and press A to arrest them. Follow the cues promptly to immobilize your foe. Oh dear. I'm coming for you. Shim right the chest. No. So we want to do like an environmental thing. Oh, he's disoriented. Now we come up and... Oh, it was like a mini game. Okay. I gotta try it again. It's disoriented? There we go. No more crime for you until next month. Oh, and we have to cuff him, right? How do I cuff him? What button is that? Oh, God! Somebody just shot me. <laughs> this is like a game. Like training. He literally just like shot me. Okay, I shot his armor off. What good does that do me? I got gotcha. you. Oh, wrong button. I gotta get better at these, like, mini-game things. The quick-time events. Why don't you come over here, buddy? Aha! <laughs> Dumbass. Maybe you can't arrest them until they are all incapacitated. Oh, there's another one. That wasn't close enough. Is he wearing a mask? He is. Trying to knock this guy out. Oh, he's stunned. Luckily, they give you a lot of time to get up there. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. I didn't even cuff any of them. That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. That might be it for us. It might just say, like, you've already incapacitated them. Consultant. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? 
don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. That's cool. So if you want to just go do all kinds of random things, you can. But I want to focus on the main story. Um, and Elden Ring, that combat is not Phantasma. It is pretty simplistic, but it might change up the gameplay a little bit from time to time. It just depends on how much of it it is. You know, like being so simple, if you had to do that, you know, let's say it's a 20 hour game. If I had to do that for 10 hours, that's going to get intrusive. If it's like maybe an hour of the gameplay, that's not so bad. Okay, a bandit layer has been marked on your map. What is this like? <laughs> Witcher? Um, press details to open on the how to play. Let's do that. Combat bandit layers. There is one bandit layer hidden in each district. Layers usually feature more enemies and harder combinations than there are in the story. So it's like if you want to focus on the combat, you do the bandit layers. Okay. Okay, so we need to go down here to Grand Saray. We're looking for the bridge along with uh, a church. And then we might find that manor, which I'll go ahead and pin that again. That's good. Now, the puzzles I don't really want to skip unless I get completely stuck. But that's good that it's mostly optional. I like that. <laughs> Frost, is that from Fallout 4? When I see settlement like that, I just think of Fallout. Nice. All right. I had a good guess. <laughs> I just watched some video about Fallout 4 where they were kind of discussing the story and how bad the uh, that faction, I don't think, Minutemen? Is that what they call themselves? Just how bad their ending story actually was in that game. I beat the game. I think I sided with um, the Institution, maybe? I don't remember. Or the Brotherhood, I forget. Oh no, wait, do the waypoints not automatically pop up um, when I run by them? I see like little things happening that show me, oh, you just discovered this, you discovered this. Do I have to do extra work to like turn it into an actual waypoint? Oh, well, I don't know if I can even put a waypoint anywhere yet um, just because I, I we're just looking for... I was going to say that building right there. No, <laughs> we're just looking for a church and a bridge. And then we are going to look for this. I don't have I don't have a uh, whatchamacallit, uh, crossroads or anything to look at. I'm just trying to get to the main area, which looks like it's right down here. True, I could put it anywhere, but put it in the middle of that. That wouldn't really help me. If they gave me some street names, that'd be very useful. OK, at least we're on the right side of town. So now we can look for the church and a bridge. Or I might even just find that building if we keep looking at that. I like the music, it's very relaxing. Okay, there's some water down here, but this sounds like the ocean. I hear seagulls. That's not going to be a river. Oh yeah, we're all the way back here. So a river... I guess we should be able to see a river on this, right? Is this thing right here a river? No, that's a river. And this is a river. So I think it's going to be on one of these sides. There's a bridge right there. And there's a bridge right there. Okay, let's go to this one. So this I could mark on the map. There we go. At least the running animation's all right. You know, like... Some games just have the worst running animations and it's really hard to stare at for a long time. The way he walked upstairs was humorous, but his running animation isn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for squiggly first. At first I was looking at this and I'm like, what is this? Is that a river? No. It's all blue, John. Water. Blue. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, good. That'll be the first time I've ever tried fast travel. <laughs> Phantasma. Okay, we're getting there. Might need to walk. Following the roads. Excuse me. This way and then to the right. It might be, like, right on the border. Because both of these... Bridges are, like, right on the border of the, uh... Excuse me, horse. Have any of their other games been open world? I, I guess that Sunk Sinking City was open world, too. Okay, I think the bridge is, like, directly ahead. So, is there a church around here, too? I'm looking at building tops to see if I have anything that looks like one. Oh, just that one? Okay, so they're pretty new to the open world uh, style of game. Is that a church? That could be a church. That giant bell up there? I don't know. Or just a bell tower? Okay, so now I have to look at our building in the picture and see if I see anything that looks like that. I guess you'd also have to look at it from the right angle. So if I keep going on this bridge, we leave the area I need to be in. And because we're right on the border, it's on this side. So it would be to our left somewhere. Oh, did you see a thing? Let me look a little closer. Let's see, was I over this way? It's not that building. And we also don't know how close it needs to be to the church and bridge. Whoa! Oh, it was atop the bell towers? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see it in direct relation to this. And they're probably trying to make it pretty obvious. So... I think we should fast travel. Is that the closest place I can fast travel? You fast travel. Oh, this is fast travel. There we go. You just hold A. And Gamma, welcome back, Gamma. It's going good. We're trying to find this right here. We're, we're given some general clues. It's going to be near a church and a bridge. And there's only two bridges in this section of town. We checked one, we didn't find it, so we're heading to the second one now. And how about you, Gamma? What you been up to? Okay, let's take a right. Hey, we're gonna go way up there. <laughs> I imagine, Phantasm, as you get more and more tired. Yeah, it'll be nice when we have a lot more fast travel uh, sections, too. Mm, I think I'm going to take that little shortcut over there. Oh, yeah. I guess that would be easier. I don't have to check them. I am checking the map not so much for the compass, but for the, uh, the roads, you know? <clears throat> Pac-Man? Which Pac-Man game are you playing, Gamma? I know they just released a new one. Did you pick that up? Like the Pac-Man Museum Collection or something like that? Oh, no, not at all, Phantasma. It's just playing different ways, you know? Is it? No, that's not it. It doesn't have that thing in the center. Okay, we're nearing the bridge, though. Oh, 256! I have that game. I actually also installed it on... Um, my arcade machine. So like, you know, actual stand-up arcade, I also have Pac-Man 256 set up on there. <clears throat> that one's really fun because you can also play it up to four players. Okay, so here's the bridge. As soon as we cross into here, <clears throat> we're in the wrong section. It's hard, but it is super fun. It's so intense when that stuff is like 
all garbled and catching up to you. That could be it. I don't see a church right around here. That's definitely not it. Let's check this building up here. Oh, I need to get a different view. Okay, is this a church? That could be a church. Yeah, maybe it's right there in the corner. Let's try to get a, up there. <clears throat> Stoneman Manor. That's it. Nice. Okay. Where's the proper entrance? Right here. Hey, Sherry. There's post here. But it seems as if the letter was delivered recently. Yoink. Let's check out this letter. My brother Mycroft's letter. Sherlock. This is to me? What? <clears throat> I hope this letter does not reach you. Or would mean you have committed to your absurd flight of fancy. The past is the past. To expand any more or expend any more time and energy retreading one's steps is, at best, childish indulgence, and at worst, pathological weakness. Consumption is ugly is an ugly end, and you were better off for not witnessing it, despite all your pro uh, pro protestations. One presumes by now you have visited your mother's final resting place. I trust this has satisfied your impetuous impulses and frees you to return to London at once. It is time to turn your back on what was and help shape what could be. The nation needs you, Mycroft. Wow, they really don't want us to look into this. Which means... After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Yeah, we should look into it. Let's investigate our manor. That's the Mycroft <laughs> I know. Predictable. As soon as you tell somebody not to do something, they're going to do it. Okay, let's turn off that marker. Unfortunately, Gamma, I don't remember my scores, but how far have you gotten into Pac-Man 256? There she is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Sherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. What is with all of the fireflies? They're like everywhere in this game. It's pretty, but man, do they have a lot of them. Look at the ash all over the door. I don't recall hearing of a fire. We don't have to stay here. You can afford another night or two at the hotel. Hmm. It's stuck. Oh, well. Let's just head back. They probably haven't mm. even stripped our room yet. Come on. <clears throat> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier. Perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Take a look around, Sherlock. I'm sure you'll discover something. Of course, the hidden key under a rock or something, right? Oh, so you played on PlayStation and Xbox. Um, which have you played the most on? Are, are you primarily a PlayStation gamer or a Xbox gamer? There is kind of a little shack over there. Let's use this first. Nothing directly in front of the door. What the hell is that? I don't like this. Hey, that's Wooden Joe. He was always the best at playing criminals. So just a really creepy wooden doll. Okay. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. That's kind of cute. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. Game Pass does that, doesn't it, Gamma? I do really enjoy Game Pass, although it's heartbreaking, kind of like Netflix, when you get into a game or you're planning on playing a game, and then the next month or two, they take it off a of Game Pass. Of course, that doesn't happen with Microsoft games, but that has happened with a couple third-party games I was interested in, and it's just like, no. So now I'm kind of going back to buying most of my games, unless it's a Microsoft exclusive. 
And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass, very precious. Funny, Wooden Joe reminds me of the trouble we once got in with the police. Do you remember, John? Hmm, somewhat. Maybe we can recall more details. Yeah, I, I, and I, I do the same thing with movies, where if there's a movie I really love and I'd like to watch it more than once, I'll typically buy it on Blu-ray or, you know, 4K because I don't trust any streaming services the way that licenses bounce back and forth to keep it on there. Like, there's some movies I want to watch that there is no streaming service that has it. Um, not even like Amazon. You can't even just pay to watch it. So sometimes it's good to have those. I wonder if I need to change my clue. It might be this one. Let me double check the case book. Ah, I think this is it. Okay, let's pin this one. Okay, it is still Shattered Memory. True Lockhart. Well, especially with movies. Because you know a movie, if you have a DVD player, is always going to work. That's not the case with games now, unfortunately. They keep locking down games and giving you less and less data on the disc. Or sometimes, like if I was to take a physical copy of a PS4 game, let's say... 30 years in the future, if they take down their servers and you try to play that game and you don't have it already installed and patched, the game's going to be buggy, possibly unfinished, possibly unplayable if they have some kind of online DRM check. So, like, uh, I don't know. I don't like the way gaming's going as far as DRM stuff is concerned. Why does this barn give me such an unpleasant feeling? Oh, I know. It's because Mycroft used an axe to shoo you out of here. It scarred you for life, but I enjoyed it. Okay, I don't think we need to get in there. Uh, seriously, I can't wait until the consoles are more readily available for everybody. I was able to get mine really early, but I still know a lot of people that are trying to find one. Hmm. The same thing even happens with Switch games, which is a bummer. Sometimes you buy a Switch game and it does not come with even the whole game on the cartridge. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of my idea, Frost. I'm trying to focus more and more on PC games. Because at the very least, I know very easily if Steam goes out of business or they stop selling the PC game completely and my license no longer works... I can easily pirate it. And I have purchased the game in the past, so I won't even feel bad about doing it. Let's see, what am I missing? It seemed like we should be able to find something to investigate for a key around here. But I don't see anything popping up, and I think I have the right clue... or the right topic pinned. <laughs> Canadian rupees. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might need a hint. Unless it was something back with Joe that I missed. Let's see here. Do I need to switch views? I already looked at everything here. We got all those clues. I do... Oh, man. Okay, th this, this topic pin thing that like kind of gates your progress. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that system. Um, Cause man, it seems like I got the correct one. What are we doing right now? We're looking for a key. If I look at my case book, the last sentence in this thing says, we couldn't open the front door of the manor. So John suggested to take a look around the yard. Two and two equals four. That sounds good to me, you know? <laughs> but which other one is it? John suggested I try to remember the full story about the policeman in front of our manor. So now I'm switching topics, I guess. Now we want to look at that. 
Or is it because of the symbol? Is it the symbol that's most important? So you see the one with the little eye and the pin? Um, uh, the ones you absolutely need will have, okay, I see. So if it has the pin, you know, that's like the most important one for what you're currently trying to do. At least that helps me know versus me just trying to use intuition to like solve the current uh, problem we're having. And Lockhart, I don't think PC gaming will stop for a good long while. Well, I mean, as long as they make PC versions of any games, Lockhart, the nice thing is like, you're always going to have access to that past. If I want to play a PlayStation 1 game, but I only have the most modern PlayStation, good luck. You're not going to be playing a physical PS1 game in a PS5. Um, but if I want to play Doom or from like 1993 or King's Quest from 1982 or any game I want on PC, it's generally going to work. Sometimes you got to do some mucking around with settings to get it to work properly, but you can get most PC games to work no matter when they were released, which is amazing. You get to keep your whole history every time you upgrade your computer, which I really love. Okay, so I want to pin this one. And we want to try to recall what happened that day. Oh, here we go. Now we got it. So there's always a pin and another icon that tells you what to do while pinned. Oh, thank you. That helps tremendously, Phantasma. Oh, what was that? I hit the wrong button, but you have a camera? That's kind of cool. The policeman. The policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. Do you remember what it was? Uh oh, what did he bring with us? Metallic? I shiny. bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. Oh, it's a trophy. It was a set of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into oh. someone's house. That's why we were arrested. Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? I like the art style. It's kind of like hand-drawn sketch, but in 3D. And Gamma. Fortunately, if you still have those old consoles, when their online goes down, chances are they'll be easy to soft mod. Now, easy to soft mod. <laughs> That's... You know, that's a slippery slope. And then you're really looking at, okay, what kind of technical expertise do people have and whatnot? And if you do it wrong, do you brick your console? That kind of thing. Now, being, you know, very savvy with computers, it's usually pretty easy to follow some of those instructions. But some people, they wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. It was Mycroft. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. That's a bit good point, Frost. And I, I do think that's going to be the eventual future, and I don't like it. But it benefits the publishers of these games for them to all go completely cloud-based. Because if you were streaming games, there's a lot of things that change. You can't cheat anymore. There's no way to hack the files because you don't even have the files on your computer. Um... You can't steal the games. There's no files to download. The only thing you ever get is a stream of the video of the game being played elsewhere. Like, even though the internet infrastructure is not ready for cloud yet everywhere, when it becomes much more viable to the point where they don't care to lose some customers because they're going to make more money because nobody's stealing and pirating games and whatnot, they're absolutely going to go that way. And I don't like it at all. Mycroft wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. Of course not. Felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? <laughs> I love the picture of him, like, ah. Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Ugh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. The ash is gone? deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise long. Aha. In we go. Wait, so there was no physical key. We just had to kind of get over this, like, fear of going in or, I guess, like, uh, 
uncover more truths about the whole situation before we were allowed to go in. Oh, that's good to hear, Gamma. But here's the main problem, I think, with that. Is that hardware, beyond the soft modding not being too hard, the hardware is not going to last. You know, p parts break, things go out. And now you have people trying to create custom parts because you can't find old parts anymore to take out of old machines. So, like, eventually, I think what's going to save all that is PC emulation. Once the emulators get good enough to handle all these games, with 100% accuracy for the most part, then like those games are truly going to be saved forever. P PS3 is a while home, off, but sweet home, they're Sherry. getting there. That's actually the main reason why I don't really deal a lot with my old consoles. I still have all my old consoles, but they're really tricky to get working with a modern television. And, you know, the batteries go out, capacitors go out, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not just not that tech savvy where I like to get in there and mess with that stuff. Generally, unless the emulation is just like not close enough, I'm happy emulating games. One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. Oh, that's a good point. I loved that game. That was Hellblade was a hell of an experience. <laughs> auction notification. We have been instructed that a public auction will take place on the 20th of July at Stonewood Manor. All lots have been selected from the finest pieces of property owned by the Holmes family and have been evaluated by experts. Their authenticity is confirmed. So here's a question. Like, <laughs> why weren't we notified about this auction? Are we like the heir to this stuff? And I was what? wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It is worth a look, wouldn't you say? Oh, we have to track down our stuff. Oh yeah, CD-based systems have the problem even worse. Of course, cartridge systems can have failures too, but with moving parts like a CD, much more likely to have failures. So find furniture traders across the island to acquire items for your manor. Their stock updates frequently. So, oh, I don't think this is for the mission. I think this is like a, a home-based decorating minigame, essentially. You can go and get stuff to bring back to your mansion. That's cool. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Yes, they, they do many upgrades where you can get HDMI out on your console, which solves the problem of it being hard to plug into modern machines. Um, yeah, USB drives or something to like not need to use the mechanical uh, disk drive or anything. But at the same time, if the emulation is working right, you can do 4K. You can like get rid of those squiggly lines you get on uh, PlayStation games or the textures warp. All kinds of neat things like that. Oh, that's fun. So, like, as you're exploring, just look for that and you can find things to uh, buy for it. Oh, yeah, 100%. Honestly, Gamma, I'm just still happy I have all my old gaming hardware. Even just to have on a shelf and just, like, look through it and look at the boxes and everything and the memories. Although I don't have a lot of interest in actually trying to plug them all into, like, a modern TV. I have them hooked up in the garage and I have fired them up. But, like, man... I don't have the room to plug in 10 consoles in my living room and make it look all nice. <laughs> I literally have four things plugged in there. I have uh, my PC. I have a gaming PC in the living room. PS5, Xbox Series, and actually my, or I guess five, Switch and Wii U. Because the Wii U will do GameCube. Or not GameCube, it'll do Wii and Wii U. So that covers a good majority of my mostly modern games. And pretty much anything else I want to play, I can emulate on the PC with like pretty high accuracy. Ah, oh, good old school Resident Evil games. I've streamed Resident Evil 2 and 3. I haven't streamed the original Resident Evil. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Okay, so it looks like we have to do another kind of mind unlock thing for this. Let's check upstairs. I think our family portrait used to hang here. That must have been huge. Oh, I've heard about that. That's if you want to get like the absolute perfect emulation, right? Because it's all FBGA. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. 
They did do a remaster of the first Lockhart, and I did stream that one. Um, I just haven't streamed the original, original. Yeah, I guess more like simulation, not emulation, I guess. Or like hardware emulation versus uh, software emulation. Oh, here we go. But there's something in here. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing in here at all? This looks like an important room. I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago. Wait, do we have an attic here? Yeah, that's really neat. And it's only going to get better from here on out. Like with that Mr. Project, if you're very tech savvy, it's not too hard to put it together and all that. But eventually they're going to turn it into like a one-stop shop where you just buy it, plug it in, and it's already good to go. Just load your games. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. You know what? I might not have the right thing selected. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Oh, there's something right here. I remember how angry Mycroft oh. was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavor. Yeah, I think PC emulation can pretty much 100% everything up to, like, GameCube. And I think once you get past GameCube, or, or if you even try to do PS2... PS3, you start to have a lot of problems. They're not quite there yet. Some of them work pretty well, but not all the games, for sure. Okay, so let's go back to our case book. So in this case, nothing has an eye icon. Hmm. Which one of these do we need to do right now? Oh, it looks like I'm in the wrong mission. I want to do this one. The Tale of the Empty House. So soon after we left Cordona, some of our manor's furniture was sold at public auction. I don't know if that's one of the main quests, though. That might be a side quest. Oh, I bet. How much is one of those, Gamma? Like, I guess the, the Cadillac, the nicest looking version you know of. Okay, that is a side quest. All right. So yeah, actually this whole place might be kind of a side quest, at least finding the furniture. We're not really doing the mind palace yet. Okay, and we've done this part so far. Oh, did I not have it pinned? Did I have to have this pinned? Maybe? There is another clue. Okay. Looked at that. Looked at the luggage. Oh, I missed this over here. A newspaper. Ah, this is, sounds exactly what we needed. News of Violet's death, 10th, 10 April, 1869. Tragedy at Stonewood Manor. Miss Violet Holmes, widow of Sigur Moreland Holmes, died unexpectedly in her home yesterday, April 9th, 1869. She is survived by her two sons, aged 20 and 10, though it is unclear if they remain in Stonewood Manor. Mrs. Holmes purchased the property only a year ago. Despite her feeble constitution of body, so ravaged by consumption, Mrs. Holmes was quickly welcomed into Cordona's elite. In her high vocation she had, in addition to the deep intu in intuitions of a gifted woman, the strength of a man, the con con oh, that word, conscientious conscientiousness of a saint, and the wit of a satirist, a specialist in ancient objects, she became the authority on authenticity. Police conducted an investigation upon arrival at the manor, but have not released further details. The cause of death is unknown. Great! Great! <laughs> something did happen that day but no one can tell us the details how can that be agreed it's rather suspicious <laughs> words are hard <laughs> words can be very hard i did the railing i guess i didn't try this yeah we already looked at that I don't know, though. It still shows up. Let me try it again. Your friend got a complete kit with the USB stuff. Uh, memory module. $800! Oh my goodness. 
I remember how angry Mycroft was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavor. Oh, Phantasma, I was saying that we already looked at the railing. Yeah, maybe there's something else at the entrance I missed. Oh, right here, an umbrella. Mycroft's umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange, I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Okay, I just saw an update. Does that mean there's a new casebook thing? Oh, yep. Now we unlock this one. Here we go. So let's tag that. Ah, now I'm starting to get the flow of the game. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. <laughs> kind of like when you saw me dodging in Elden Ring. You're like, oh, John, you're doing so good. And you're growing up. <laughs> well, I think I need to stay in this mode. There's more things. Ah. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. It's so funny. With my PC gaming that I'm kind of focusing on more, it always like irks me when um, there's like an Epic Games exclusive or something's on PC but not on Steam. Because I just love having everything in Steam because it's as far as feature wise, they have more features than any other storefront by far. Especially because I just got the Steam Deck. It's so nice to have that easy access to games that way. There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering, or is it my imagination? Oh, what is this? Seriously, Gamma, I am very impressed with the Steam Deck so far. I've only tried a couple games on it that I'm actively playing right now, but... I'm still pretty dang impressed with it. Oh, I'm playing as John right now. So now we're going through John's memories, even though he's imaginary? <laughs> That's cool, kind of showing them playing together. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, you know, he said it wasn't somebody's hat. But that one doesn't make sense. Yeah, this is like when we did the um, the people at the table, but... Where exactly... I'm going to connect all these right now. Can I get out of here and like look at the details of what we've learned to kind of reconnect it before we do that? I don't think I was paying enough attention to how he described each one of these things to understand that. Here we go. So we brought a lot of luggage with us, mainly because our mother refused to leave it in London. Mycroft was busy. So Mycroft dealing with the luggage. The voyage had been a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. So mom in the wheelchair with a kid pushing maybe. And there's always a hat on our coat stand, but it did not belong to Minecraft. Maybe uh, someone else was a frequent guest in our house. I think Mycroft was the younger looking person that we saw there, not the older person. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft, Minecraft. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the one with the uh, elderly gentleman, trying to get the hat here. And the younger guy messing with the luggage, not him. Not them. There we go. I think that's it. I think it's going to be the kids. That's what they said. So then, let's try validate. Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. 
Upstairs, go to your room. That makes sense. Doctor was a on me, frequent visitor. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. Which would have been common with tuberculosis, right? We arrived in the early morning of a rainy day. Sherry's mother was weak and unsteady, so he tried to help her. Mycroft was Minecraft was very serious while uh, dealing with luggage. When he saw Sherlock trying to help his mother up, he commanded him to go upstairs to our room. The last person to arrive was Dr. Otto Richter, who said that the neighbors will believe that Violet has tuberculosis. Sherry just realized that he never heard her coughing. Oh, I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you all right? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? Why is my imagination sick? <laughs> Let's do it, Sherlock. Let's go find our room. And Gamma, honestly, my favorite thing about the Steam Deck so far is just how easily they implemented the function that the Switch has to like um, basically suspend and resume PC games, which has never been a feature in PC games, but I absolutely love it where like right now I'm in the middle of playing Hades and in the middle of one of my runs, I could just hit the power button, come back to it later and boom, I'm right there. At this, it's like traveling 10 years into the past with a single step. Oddly satisfying. Oh, did I randomly go into the correct room? What is this thing? An artifact from Palau carved out hmm. of bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. Oh, <laughs> my very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. This is cute. We're analyzing our I toys. I believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours. They were half mine, too. Oh, good. I was like, man, I'm brilliant, Phantasma. How did I manage to pick the right room? You can only go to one. However, I did try the correct room first. You know, I have this clip, and if you look at my Resident Evil 2 remake stream, I um, beat the final boss, I'm pretty sure, with my final bullet. It was ridiculously lucky, to the point where I thought, what would happen if you ran out of bullets? in that scene like do they even let you run out of bullets or does it always end on your last bullet i don't know it seemed too coincidental but it was pretty dang a epic. magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose staring into the sky i've definitely found a better use for it you mean for spying on people i almost want to try it again just to see if that always happens or if i just got really lucky because <laughs> that was kind of amazing Oh, what's that? What's that over there? Looks like a key of some kind. But it also looks like a little doorknob kind of thing you have in a drawer to help you grab it. This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. Nice. Try it on every single door we can. The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. Oh God. <laughs> what kid reads encyclopedias? Sherlock Holmes, I guess. So I just got an icon up there with a pin. Is that telling me, hey, you should uh, change your pin. Oh, for the hidden treasure, okay. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this place. There's so much the to look at in here. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Cold dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil That's samples. That's kind of cool. <laughs> he definitely needs a hobby. <laughs> oh, check that out. 
They put a bunch of pins in the wall, or what is that? Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. Can't quite tell what those are. I th are they darts? Are they push pins? I don't know. I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? Aww. I hope it was a good meeting with the dog. VR. Man, they were way ahead of their time, Phantasma. <laughs> they were looking at VR games way back in the 1800s. Okay, so now we need to find out what door this might... This key might belong to. Or it might not even be a door. It could be like a, a drawer. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. It's probably not going to be one of the doors that shows all ash. I think those get unlocked through like story events. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. It also might be part of that shed outside. Oh, it says in the room? Oh, yeah, yeah. Duh. Okay, what did I miss in here? Is there a locked drawer? See, oh, this thing. Oh, oh nope. it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. I can't look down at the... Oh, my man, mind palace is going off. I think so? It says he dared me to find the hidden item. No, I don't. Now it's off to wooden handle. <laughs> <laughs> it's related, but it's not specific enough. There we go. That's going to trip me up so much. Aha! The plot thins. I see, match. I see what you were talking about, Phantasma, about how, like, you'll need to give me these hints because it is very easy to forget to do that. Ooh, a cigar or a pipe. Any markings on it? Still has a faint odor of tobacco. One of the few things on this island that smelt like home. Ew. Made of cherry wood. Father's favorite. Hey, the pipe of Sigur Holmes. A small, straight smoking pipe made of cherry wood that belonged to Sherry's late father, Sigur Holmes. We had to hide it from Violet, as she didn't know we stole it from his cabinet in London. The wood is old, its surface is worn from frequent use, but it has been well maintained. A faint scent of tobacco lingers. Sherlock has taken his father's pipe with him. I sense it carries a considerable sentimental value. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. I knew you'd find it in no time. Nice. Okay, so look at this again. Okay, so we no longer have anything pinned or anything with an eye icon. Is it time to do the mine palace? This time I was first to pick beds. This one's mine now. The Mine Palace has been active for a while, so I guess you could have done it at any time. Okay, what are we trying to connect here? Police reports about the mother's death are missing. Mother died of tuberculosis. I always thought my mother died of tuberculosis. It was what killed her. But then we know that she was not coughing. So I think we need to connect these two. Mycroft hid the truth about the death of our mother and lied when we told 
uh, when he told me that she died of tuberculosis. Okay. A uh, friendly neighbor. We had a neighbor on the island that was friends with my family. And John had been my friend since childhood. I cannot remember a time without him. He cannot accept that only I can see him. Hmm. I don't think we need to connect anything more yet. But Mind Palace is still bouncing up and down. So I do think maybe there is something I need to connect. I'm guessing these two? Friendly neighbor and imaginary friend John? Oh, that did not look correct. Okay, police reports about mother's death are missing. And friendly neighbor... I don't know how this is connected. Family friend. While there are no records about my mother's death, we had a family friend on Cordona. Maybe he would know something. Okay, so like just... An assumption that maybe they know something. Wasn't that neighbor missing a finger? There we go. That does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name uh, Theodore? Theodore Gilden, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. Off to the neighbor we go. And luckily being a neighbor, we don't have to like... Right, oops. Coal dust from miners and sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom. For the soil samples. I don't think there's any way to like skip dialogue really. I have multiple times accidentally double click something. Okay, let's go down here. The load times are really fast. I like that. Okay, let's look at our information. We got this one. Uh, he used to live in one of the neighboring houses near the Greek Bridge. He had a gas balloon in his yard. Let's mark that. Place on map. Okay, neighbor with a big gas balloon. Near the Greek Bridge. The bridge was just right around this way. Sorry, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I don't see any big balloon there. That wretch Goliath would murder us all. Mark my words. There's another case. Wait, was that the name of the neighbor, Gildan? Oh, I think it is, yeah. Okay, I didn't see the, the um, big balloon thing to look for. I visited the house of an old family friend and discovered evidence of recent mayhem. All right. Oh, did you see it in the sky? Good eye, Lockhart. I was looking for something on the ground. Um, the case book. Let's pin that one. Maybe we can ask these people about it. Help me, please. I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask you something? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. You're literally looking at the thing I'm asking about. <laughs> Maybe they all just got here. Destruction and trampled ground. They trashed our neighbor's place. Oh, no. Oh, God. That doesn't look good. Ooh, have you guys seen the new season of Stranger Things? <laughs> it's a lot of twisted up bodies like this. Oof, a contortionist you were not. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. And all of his limbs are turned around. <laughs> Fantasma, um, no. <laughs> Belt from a dressing gown. Curious. Leg is twisted around Kneecap too. Cap reduced to splinters. There's one more clue. Oh yeah, I forget I can move around a little bit too. It was pretty gruesome, wasn't it, Alex? Did you like it? <laughs> 
can't look at the blood stains. What other thing might they want me to look at? Not the shoes. I thought maybe the rock, but that doesn't seem to do it either. Oh, he is totally missing a finger. Good eye. I, I totally missed that. Nice. A missing pinky. Middle-aged. It's none other than Theodore Gilden. Oh, boy, Sherlock. Another death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. And Alex, I had no idea it was only like half of a season. So I was so disappointed when it got to the end and it wasn't like, here's a conclusion. It was literally, boom, cliffhanger, game over. We can't do anything more yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my dang. Let them get through the ads, John. I always like to jump the gun. Be like, oh my God, thank you. And if I do that right away, nobody is going to see it. All right, three. Couch Potato Kate, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you doing, Kate? It's great to see you again. What is new? What have you been up to? More importantly, what were you streaming, Kate? Let's see here. You were working on Forest. That game is so cool. It's super creepy. How did you do? How are you liking it? Have you played it before or was this your first time? Oh, I missed you too. How have you been? Um, I actually got to play some of the forest in VR. And I don't know how much VR horror you've played, but that game gets really creepy in VR. Mostly because like it could be a pretty dark game at night, but when you're in VR and it's night and it's just completely enveloping you, it's really intimidating. You feel like you're actually like in the outdoors in real life with no light sources at all. It's just so dang dark. I want to play that again. I think you can actually beat that game, but I have not completed the forest. We got pretty far where some big nasty monsters were coming for us, but we haven't really done much of the story and like investigating everything. Let's see. Oh, you're done with college. Congratulations, Kate. That's awesome. And the forest was fun. You played it a bit before, but never finished it. And you have VR. Definitely give it a try in VR. It is something else. The controls are a little clunky, but um, just the atmosphere and everything is so intense. It's pretty cool. We are currently playing uh, the latest Sherlock Holmes game. Really cool so far, but appreciate you rating so much. Glad to hear you're doing good and congrats again on finishing school. Okay, so we are currently investigating our neighbor who we just found a dead body on this property. I don't know if this is the old family friend or somebody else. I don't know if we know the... Uh, Oh, here we go. It is Theodore Gilden. It is the neighbor. Okay. The man suffered many lethal injuries and fractures that the exact cause of death is difficult to determine. His legs are mangled and bloody, and a dressing gown belt was found on the body. Let's check out the area a little bit more. Let's make sure we pin that. What else can we find? Oh, there's a big chain over here and a bunch of blood stains. What the hell's that? Hold on. <laughs> Is that some kind of medieval weapon? Poke the elephant with this. Really? People are hopeless. Poke the elephant? What are they talking about? Like a literal elephant is what they're talking about. A strong pull broke this leash. They actually had an elephant pinned, uh, trapped back here. And it looks like it broke free or something. pool of blood and saliva, possibly as a result of impact. Sherlock, take a picture of the footprint. It's valuable evidence. I mean, the elephant could have ripped that person apart, but the way his neck and stuff was broken, I'm not sure.
This is quite comfy. <laughs> okay, do they want us to take a picture of this blood stain right here for evidence? No, I don't think that was it. Yeah, it's talking about how the animal broke free. Aha, this is the one I need to mark. We have to take a photograph of the elephant's footprints. So just this spot right here. Okay, we got that. Oh, no, th that one. That's the more important one. This photograph there can we help go. us find the old article about the elephants. The front page was fascinating. It was hard to believe as a child. True. We may need it in our investigation. Okay, now these icons I'm not familiar with. They're like shaking hands and there's like a book. Oh, because we can check the newspaper archive. Okay. So it was a front page story. We want to check about how this elephant escaped. Is that what we're doing? Isn't it more important to like <laughs> investigate this dead body? That seems more like a history lesson. Let's see what else there is. There's a ball here. An amount of attention that most can only dream of. Okay, that's like a side quest. That makes more sense. It's like, oh, let's not pivot right now. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Okay, the neighbor's house is locked. That makes sense. Oh, those are special challenges. Okay, thank you. A royal suite for a favorite pet. Plenty of food to satisfy even the most fastidious. God, imagine how expensive it would be to feed an elephant all the time. Okay, do I even have the right thing selected? Gilded cage. Let's select that one again. There might be some more kind of glowing clues that appear. If we have the right thing connected. Or pinned, I guess. He was certainly under pressure. I think I need to do anything else here. gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. Oh, what is this? A sailor's knife useful for cutting wet and thick ropes. Hmm. Or a murder weapon. Although I don't think it was really cut up. He was more twisted up. What else do they want me to connect to? There's three things. Oh, did I miss something on this knife? It's seen a lot of use. There the we blade go. Is worn from grinding. I didn't look at the blade. Fresh signs of impact. A rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. Hmm, somebody broke a board. So that's my cue to look at this again. I think this is still the proper thing to have pinned. Oh, we got something. Let's try to recreate this scene. So do we think the ele elephant just ripped him apart? Do we think a man dragged him there? Or he got trampled right there? I mean, that is the direction the alien, or <laughs> alien elephant came from. Oh. 
Ooh, or somebody stabbed him from behind. That looks like it hit him in the arm. Let me back out of here real quick. I don't remember him having any kind of damage like that, but let me double check the corpse. Yeah, really just his leg got broken. Hmm. I, I don't know if the elephant's gone, uh, Kate. I think the elephant broke free and killed the master and took off, is my best guess. Let me double check our notes, though. That'll help us to pick the order. Hmm. Doesn't show it in the same order. Okay, so we visited the house. The gate was broken. The body of a man was found in the enclosure pen of a large animal. His right hand is missing its little finger. It's Theodore Gilden. The man suffered many lethal injuries and fractures, and the exact cause of death is difficult to determine. His legs are mangled and bloody. A dressing gown belt was found on the body. That's kind of strange. Beside a small puddle of blood lay a bull hook, a bull hook, though the instrument was unstained, so I don't think it was actually used. With an immense pull, the animal broke the steel chain that restrained it. The shed holds a coal gas tank that appears operational. Someone fell there recently, hitting the wall and dropping their knife. It was not a soft landing. Maybe we should do that one first. So whatever thing we pick for that um, that weird hook weapon is probably not hitting anything because that would indicate blood and we didn't find any blood on it. So see, he's swinging it, but not actually hitting the elephant. That could be correct. It definitely looked like he was dragged because we see like a mark of blood on the ground there. Could have been from a person, could have been the elephant. I don't think that's it. I think it actually gets him here. Oh, it looks like here he busts the gate open and knocks this guy into that. I could see that. What other options do we have? That guy runs away. I don't think that's what happens. Wait, is that the same thing? It looks like there's only two options for that one. Okay, let's try this. I think that is as much information as I can put into this. Let's try to validate that. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I was not correct. <laughs> And that could be it too. Rather than him swinging at him, he gets grabbed here. And then I guess that might make more sense because then he is dropped off there, right? There we go. That's all I had missed. The elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce power. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. Mm hmm. The elephant can't have gone too far. I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it. Then what? Push it all the way back to the manor? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> okay, let's uh, change this to this one. So the elephant could have escaped, but it hasn't gone far. So that's good to hear, Kate, that the elephant is still alive. That'd be depressing if it was killed. Okay, we're going to pin that. Let's see if we can maybe follow footprints. I could have sworn in the past we were able to like mark footprints and trace it. Maybe not this one though. I mean, elephant footprints should be very easy to follow, right? It looked like it had to have gone this way because it broke the gate. Then which way did it go? Oh, that means we need to interview people? Well, these people must have seen it. Excuse me, just one question. That's a question I can answer. There we go. Okay. Animal suspect. The elephant named Goliath, fitting, crossed the Greek bridge in the direction of the forest where Theodore used to walk it. 
which is this away. So it leads towards the forest. If I look at the map, maybe this is the forest over here? <laughs> That's cute. I like it, Alex. Like we had two Jessies. Yeah, that might be considered the forest. And over here. The elephant did not come down here to the beach. You would think you would hear the elephant if you even got anywhere close to it, right? Oh, we got something here. What is this? Recently broken, elephant okay, ran past. Hear me out. If an elephant falls in the forest and there's no one around to... John, no. <laughs> oh, you're such a killjoy. Okay, so looks like I kept on going this way, maybe. Oh, we're getting uh, spidey sense. Looks like it goes this way. I don't see the line. There it is. Sometimes the line doesn't show up for a while. Or very faintly. Okay, like it goes this way a bit. Okay, we're still going this way. And then down, maybe? No, I'm not getting any clues that way. What about this way? Oh, wait. Yep, we're getting buzzing. I might be just taking a bath. Oh, is that water going to kill me? Oh, there's a clue. Strange. It was hung with care. Oh, this is the same belt that we found on the corpse, isn't it? Hmm. There's like hardly anything to look at. Oh, we got a key here. The game has escaped us for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. All right, ink stained letter. Dear Theodore, so this is written to the neighbor that died. I am writing to you as a fellow Islander. I value our friendship just as I value the lives of our people. Although I am afraid this one-sided friendship cannot tie my hands any longer. I am being made to look weak in the eyes of your neighbors. They believe that your tree is a mockery and not a peace offering as you intended. The people are afraid. You refuse to give your elephant a proper trainer, instead using your own limited knowledge to teach it. It is an impossible situation. I admit I did not think of having the elephant forcibly taken and given to Mr. Tailheart, who has shown that he is quite capable of looking after the elephant being, although she is female and far less frightening than your beast. Please reconsider the situation. Interesting. All right, all evidence collected. And we found a set of keys in Theodore's dressing gown, so we want to pin that. Oh, you know what? We might be able to use this key to get into the house, huh? So I'm thinking we probably need, to, even though we didn't find the elephant. Maybe we need to get out of here now. Where's the easy way out? Kind of this way. Getting lost in the forest already. Oh, I see civilization. I think we're on the right track. Oh yeah, fast travel. Where can I fast travel to here? This one? Can, right in front of the, wait, I don't, that works actually. Yeah, the neighbor's house is real close to this, so this'll work. 
I always forget that we've had more recent fast travel points. Oh, it's changed. Now there's just a couple cops here. Is that the same guy? From the hotel? <laughs> this guy gets everywhere. It's so sneaky. There we go. Now we can get in here. Whoa, look at all these pictures. This is awesome. Do we have a new thing? No. This young lady has a childish interest for her age. And some creepy, creepy dolls. <laughs> That's one of the best updates to emotes I have seen, Alex. Those glasses fit perfectly. Nice job, dude. Oh, look at this coat of armor. That looks awesome. I guess that would be some really giant, silly piece of... Uh, that goes back outside. Like a decoration, if I could have, would be a big coat of plate mail. That just looks cool, but it's huge and obnoxious and I have nowhere to put it. You. Who are you? My name is Sherlock Holmes. Theodore Gildon was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, miss. <laughs> For revenge. Imogen Gildan. Please, I beg of you. Find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. Hmm, maybe it wasn't the elephant after all, huh? Can you tell me what happened from the very start? I was here, so I didn't see how it began. My father visits the enclosure every morning to wake up Goliath. Today, I heard the elephant scream. I've never heard such a horrifying sound. My heart stopped. I knew something was wrong. I looked through my window and saw how it... How it lifted my father up by his neck. I rushed downstairs. I saw it dragging my father as if he were a doll. I threw stones at it. It dropped my father's body and charged outside, screaming. Its roar was almost human. Creepy. I was frightened, so I ran inside and hid here. <laughs> we could just be like, hey, you shouldn't have been doing that, or I'm sorry for your loss. Let's be nice. That is a terrifying experience, Miss Gildan. I'm sorry you had to go through it. Thank you. Goliath must be caught, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gildan. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? I wasn't privy to much of my father's life. And it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster. I mean, we met before? I mean, we're neighbors. That's possible, right? Miss Gildan, I was on this island ten years ago, and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside. But I do not recall seeing you. I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there. You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Very well. Wow, she really wants that elephant dead. Okay, we've got some uh, evidence we got to show. What do we got here? So we got her testimony. She's, stake, she's shaken but willing to provide more answers. That's not really helpful. The animal suspect. I noticed Theodore's gown hanging on a branch, seemingly left by the elephant. I cannot pursue the creature any further at present. That's weird. Um, traces near the shed. So uh, somebody fell and broke a flower pot, and they dropped a knife. And then they hit uh, that board on the back there. Let's see here. I don't see any clues there really as evidence to show her. 
And then John reminded me of a newspaper article from our childhood. It was the first time I had seen these beautiful creatures. I can check the newspaper's archive. It was a front page story written by a science journalist who would have been published 10 years ago. Hmm. I don't know if we have any of anything to show her right now, to be honest. At least nothing's like really contradicting something that she's saying or something I believe that's wrong that I can think of. Well, let's see. From her window, she could see the animal lifting the body of her father. And it says she threw stones at it. We did see rocks on the ground. That's true. Let's try this. Let's, let's try to catch her up on talking about how there was somebody else there. Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? No one wishes to work in this house, even for double pay. I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. Okay, she didn't notice anybody else. Let's go with, uh, we noticed Theodore's gown hanging on a branch. That's weird. Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. That's you pretty cute. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl. And my room stinks of the animal. As if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. Ah, does she have a motive now as to what she was doing? Okay, we got three evidences updated. I can't think of anything else right now. Okay, we can't ask her any more questions. Check our... Facebook. Okay, I think we need to go outside and compare, or maybe something in the house with what she's saying. Oh, maybe we'll find more like that gown or something. She packed as much as she could carry. False idols. Oh, sounds utterly dreary. <laughs> Let's take it. It's not that. Still two more. Oh, I saw something pop up a second ago. There we go. Oh, the same dull poses on all romantic photographs. So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. Uh-oh. What does John see? You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? Speaking aloud helps me think. <laughs> I love it. We're actually talking out loud and she hears it. Okay, this is probably a good stopping point. I bet this case is going to take a little while. So now that we've discovered elephant broke out, this lady wants it murdered. This is probably a great stopping point for right now. Now, as a reminder, we will not have a stream on Saturday. I have my wife's niece birthday party that we're hosting at our house at the time I would be streaming so obviously I can't do that but we will continue this on Tuesday I can't wait to see more of this cool game good choice Phantasma I love a good detective game yeah a good solid five hours that's pretty nice yeah I, I might be able to go a little bit later but I start to get tired on these days because I'm up at like 5 30 in the morning plus uh I have a lot of work to do tomorrow cleaning up and things like that Let's create a new save, just in case 
we might need a backup. And there's one more room to investigate. Otherwise, it's good. Uh, I think we could, we could wrap up here. I think we could wrap up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready too. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop right there. What's under statistics? Five cases taken, two cases closed. Zero accusations won. We've won two bets. That's cool. I love it when games keep track of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Alex, 3 p.m. <laughs> Time zones, right? Oh, it's wild. And 3 a.m. for you. Kate, you got to get to sleep. Hopefully you don't have work in the morning. I do not tomorrow. I do have tomorrow off, which is nice. But I'm going to need pretty much the whole day cleaning and getting things organized and ready for the party. But it will be a lot of fun. I can't wait.